Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> How are you all today? How are you? How are you? How are you? It's Wednesday. Yay. It did. Hello. Congrats on getting fast. <laughs> Jeez. I should run a counter. That, is, that has been a record and a half. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh yeah, we're halfway through the week, so there's not much more to go. Well, the people at work. Like, what, 95? Uh, well, people at work 95 won't be watching us unless they've got a very lenient workplace. But uh, people that work Monday to Monday to Friday, I wish you all well. And that you're getting closer and closer to your weekend. I'm one of the lucky ones. I actually get weekend off this week. Yay! Usually don't get weekends off. I'm usually stuck. It's my brother's birthday today. Nice. Happy birthday, James, brother. Happy birthday. Oh, you have a super, super, super special day. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. He's 18. Nice. That's a hell of a milestone. <laughs> Wish him all the best for me. He deserves to have a super special day. Alright, so as to what we're doing today, we're going to be playing some more Pathfinder. So we're going to be... Uh, I was going to say grinding, but no, it's probably just going to be a lot of reading. Yeah, there's, there's probably going to be so much reading. But it's going to be all good, because we're doing fantasy stuff, and fantasy stuff is always good. Uh, oh yeah, I need to change, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to take a quick drink real fast. <sighs> okay, where were we? Huh. Okay. I build him as a as I now appear before I bully him because he's a child. <laughs> Go get him, Jade. Alright, now how do I play this again? Oh yeah, I remember. When did I get when did I get more spells? Did I not get any, any spells? Okay. Let's see class, class, class. Alright, so we're swapped off of this. He always puts all with it because I'm his big sister and also I'm small. <laughs> That's that just shows you he's a good big brother. Or a little brother. Yeah, little brother. Okay. Right, so we're just at level one here. So that's not an ability, that's not an ability, that is, but we've already got that one. A third level due to the power of Blood Rage. The Blood Rager can stand confidently amid the effects of spells. That's not a spell, okay. I think the first... Wait, that's not even a spell either. Did I get, like, no spells? <laughs> I might not actually get any spells. That's a bummer. Oh, well. As long as I can hit things very, very hard, I don't really care. There's so much to consider with us. The first level you grow claws. These claws are treated as natural weapons. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about any spells for a wee while with this guy. 
Not a mess, but... Like, I think we've already got that equipped, haven't we? And we got this guy, he can't cast spells. We might as well level him up, though. See, when I first saw this guy's image, he doesn't look, he doesn't look like he's, uh, uh, what was he technically, he's, uh, halfling, isn't he? Yeah. He just doesn't look like a halfling. And he's a lawful evil. Mm. Oh, right, I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. And back in we go. Get his mythic path going on. I'm glad they automate this stuff because I <laughs> I could not be bothered doing this for every single character manually. Oh my god, he's learning all the spells. We're just bonded by doing the lethal company dance together. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. I think for the next party I'll probably yeah we're not bringing him along I don't think we'll bring him along I think we'll bring her her and what the hell's meta magic oh never mind never mind Rest of restore spells. Okay. So like how do I assign this stuff again? Oh there it is. There it is. Okay. Alright, that makes more sense. So like, can she like cast all of these? Is that just how it works? This is the problem with not knowing what Pathfinder is about, you know? There's all this stuff and I just don't know. My god buddy, you have all the spells. Domain slot? What the hell is a domain slot? You temporary intuitive insight into the immediate future during your next attack. You're Next single attack roll if it's made before the end of your next round. Gains plus 20 insight. Additionally, you're not affected by the mischance that applies to attackers trying to. Right, so basically, it almost guarantees the hit. As summons a dog, it appears when you de designate to act a context initiative. Check results. Hmm. Buddy, why do you have two of each of these abilities? Why is that? Dark creature gains plus set. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these. I don't think we need two of each of these, do we? Command. I don't know why I'm born to do this. I don't think I'm ever gonna use him, at least not for a while. Oh, but I really should, shouldn't I? That's the annoying thing, like, I might choose to use him in the future. But he's got so many spells. You bring special favor upon yourself and your allies, we'll bring disfavor to your enemies, you and your, your allies gain plus one luck, okay. You imbue a suit of armor or shield with an enhancement bonus, plus one per four castle levels. Hmm. If our regular clothing counts as armor, they can't stay. Da, 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 da. So a monster three. A spell summons an extra extra planner monitor lizard. One d three extra planner wolves or some monsters appear when you designate and act according to their initial checks. All right. It's still cost. You place a cost in the subject. Choose one of the following: cost of feeble body. Cost of weakness. Ooh, cost of weakness. That may actually be a really good choice. 
spell magic. You can use the spell magic to end one ongoing spell that has been cast in a creature or one area. Effect from a spell. That's, uh, that's fine. It's not amazing. Go upon the power of unlife to render the subject blinded. Hmm. Subject contracts one of the fallen diseases, blinding, sickness, bubonic. Da, 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 da. That's a pretty good one. Yo, I'm gonna give him this. Like, why do you have three restoration vessels? for evil all allies within 30 feet gain plus two deflection bonus to AC plus two on saves both its bonuses apply against attacks made or effects created by evil creatures that sounds very situational though Bears and drones the effective creature gains greater vitality and stamina the spell grants the subject plus four enhancement bonus to constitution yeah let's get that Favorite blessing of halfling clerics, the spell grants his target plus two morale and saving throws against fear effects. Nope. Death's armor. Armor you wear nah, nah. Some creature two. A saturation grants a creature a limited protection from damage, of which are the five energy types. There's too many options. With this pair, you provide long lasting sucker to a wounded creature for as long as the effect lasts. The target receives plus two morale bonus on saving throws against fear and death effects. That's too much shit. I think we'll get this one the protection from evil, even though it's probably just going to be incredibly situational, but. Oh, that's already in the domain slot. Ah. Arrow of Light. Fire shimming arrow of pure order from your holy symbol. Chaotic creature struck by an arrow of law. 1d8 point of damage per 2 cast levels. Fire weapon. A line weapon makes your, wep your current equipped weapon chaotic good as you choose. A weapon that is aligned can bypass the damage reduction of certain creatures. Hmm. I'll give him this one as well. Yeah. So currently he's got these are here. And I'm gonna give him Cure Light Wounds is kinda sh kinda rubbish. True strike, yeah, let's give him true strike. He'll get a lot better once he's got these spells behind him. I think that's what half his problem was earlier, because he just wasn't doing as well because he didn't have the spells available to him. So do made the second for spell's duration? No, no, no. Closely surrounded by a barely visible magical field, the field provides plus one de deflection to AC. And That's actually pretty good. Target that averts some deflects attacks. The spell grants the subject plus two deflection to AC with an additional plus one bonus for every six levels you have. Gates. Uh, once the field has stunned an opponent, the spell is discharged. No, the, sh the Shield of Faith is way better. And, and most of these are not that good. They're very situational or just not that effective. So, yeah. And you can cast the, the level 0 ones as much as you want. So, level 3. Right, so, we got level 3 basically secured, more or less. Action by energy grants temporary immunity to the type of energy you specify when you cast it. Nah. Contagion. I just really like the look of Contagion though. Which is weird because he's a freaking cleric. But whatever. Remove disease though. Remove disease can cure all diseases from which the subject is suffering. You must mas uh, make a castle level check against the DC of each disease affected 
avec my target. Success means that disease is cured. That could be pretty handy, actually. Same with this one, remove blindness. I don't know what I don't know which one I'd rather take here. Ooh, Archon's Aura, that's freaking great. If there's any enemy within 20 foot radius, they must succeed at will save. Or else they take minus two penalty on attack rolls. Yeah, I'm gonna give them that. I'm probably making the worst built cleric ever. But, I don't know, I, I just, I really like these. These ones I'm picking. You force an evil creature that does not have the evil subtype to momentarily reflect on its past actions and be overcome with, by grief and conscience. Target immediately drops prone and begins loudly confess all of its sins. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I actually love that, that's great. Holy smite. Alright, what does this do? Draw down holy power to smite your enemies. Only evil and neutral creatures are harmed by the spell. I mean, it makes sense. He has a paladin. Well, cleric. May as well be a paladin. Dismissal. Spell force an extra planetary uh, planner creature back to its proper plane if it fails a will save. That's freaking OP. So he could basically like send a demon like immediately back to where they came from. Dice from energy grants all allies within a 25 feet radius temporary immunity to types of energy you specify when you cast it. My spell solves 12 points per caster level of energy damage as the star discharged. Once the spell absorbs 12 points of energy damage per caster level, the subject the spell's effect ends for that subject. For your movement, this spell enables you or a creature you touch to move and attack normally for the duration of the spell. Even under the effects of magic, that usually impedes movement. Death ward. Why does he know necromancy? He's a cleric. Ah, uh, whatever. Chaos Hammer. You know, at least chaotic spite, uh, power to smite your enemies. The power takes the form of a model called Explosion of Leaping Ricochet and Energy. Alright. Crusader's Edge. Cast a spell on a melee weapon in your primary hand. You imbue it with a powerful holy energy grant your primary weapon, the Bane weapon, quality against evil outsiders. Ooh. Imbue yourself with strength and skill and battle, you gain plus one da, 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 orders wrath. You channel lawful power to smite enemies, the power takes the form of three dimensional grid of energy, only chaotic and neutral, not lawful creatures are harmed by the spell. Do you know what? And we'll put false repentance there. Ah, that's for the last one. Oh, what should I do? Cure critical wounds, yeah, let's let's do that. That makes sense. He has a cleric. Alright, so the next time we use him, he, he should be pretty good. He better be. <laughs> So it looks like she works differently. And she seems to have like a, oh, that's how it works. So she has like seven spell uses for these, this one. So she can use any of these for seven times. That is actually really freaking strong. She's got such range. Are you actually kidding me? I've not given her any, oh my, oh my God. No wonder she's been really bad. <laughs> I'm wondering why she's so terrible in combat. It's because I've not given her any like real spells at all. <laughs> That's my bad. Oops. Give her bless. Actually, would bless be a waste? Ah, whatever. Whatever. He's a dreams. You fill the enemy's head with waking dreams. A reminder of the pleasures, delight, and terror to be found in the dream world. Multiple heads of dream effects do not stack, nor does the spell effect stack with slow. Play moves at half its normal speed. 
Well, these bonuses apply against attacks when you don't fetch. Yeah, we'll get we'll get that one. Burning hands, nope. No fear, no 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 no. This target gains plus four morale bonus on saving throws against mind affected effects that re rely on negative emotions. Okay. Then fills your enemy with fear and doubt. Magic weapon gives a weapon plus one enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls. I mean, that's not bad, it's not great. So, I wonder if I should. Do you know what? I'll give him, give him like one of each. I know, like, if I put multiple in each slot, it gives him more casts. Uh, but part of me kind of wants to see, like, how effective each of, the, each of these is because she's got a big range of options. Fear. It's frightened if the subject succeeds, I will, will save it. It's shaken for one r round. Creatures with six or more HD are immune to this effect. Cause fear dispels, remove fear, which obviously. I'll give her another cool light ones. Why not? Those strands. Does she have like the same abilities as as that cleric? Well, mostly. It's a lot more limited here. I'm seeing. Eight. Eight grants the target plus one morale, on attacks, and saves against fear effects. Under a moderate false life. You have a spell on life to grant yourself a limited ability to avoid death. When a spell is in effect, you gain temporary hit points equal to 1d10 plus 1 per castle level. That's pretty good. Spell functions is entangled, except the plants are coated with an irritable sap that creates a painful itching rash in creatures that touch them. Any creature that enters the area must succeed at a fortitude save. Yeah, but we already have Entangle. I'll give her False Life and Restoration Lesser. Spells and temporary magical effects reducing one of the subject's ability scores. It does not remove permanent effects such as causes or diseases. Wait, diseases are permanent? What? Oh, bark skin, actually, that's a good one. Or paralysis. <sighs> Screw it. Give her that, and we'll give her that, because we didn't give the cleric these abilities. So we'll see how they are. And she has like, none of these. <laughs> Soothing mud. Great now we're healing mud. The mud function is, a, is difficult terrain. When a creature enters a mud that is healed of 1d4 points of ability damage. A creature can be healed of ability damage this way only once per day. Also, each round after the mud restores one hit point to the creature. This healing is unaffected by effects that that increase a uh, creature's healing. It doesn't sound that good though, because it's saying it's once per day, so what is really the point? Oh, remove disease, yes. We saw how bad that could be. Dominate animal? Nah, I don't see us using that that often. Stinking cloud. Creates a blank of fog like they created by fog cloud, except that the vapors are nauseating. Living creatures in the cloud become nauseated. This condition lasts as long. Da, 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 da. Okay. Cure serious wounds. Yeah, why not? Immediately upon completion of the spell and once per round thereafter, you may call down a six foot wide to thirty foot vertical bolt of lightning. <sighs> yes. Oh, remove cost. Yes. We'll go with that. Just get removed disease, remove cost. Just all that good, good shit. And inflict. Inflict serious wind, because why not?
Part of me wants to get Vistokos. And maybe I should. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And four. What's what we got left? Thorn body. This spell causes spines to grow from your exposed skin, damage creatures that strike you. Huh. Okay. And we get to pick one of these. <laughs> Is that a pig? Do we get to summon a pig? Oh, actually, you can summon a a dire boar, a leopard, multiple leopards, and multiple giant frogs. Hmm. Frost life greater. Ooh, there's some nice ones here. Do you know what? I'm gonna get the summon nature's ally one. Problem with some of these is they kind of overlap. You know? Magic weapon. Screw it. All right, yeah, that should be her spell book finished. We just need to rest first. Wait, wait, am I not giving you spells? I oh my god, what? I am, I am a terrible, terrible player. Just a spell you gain plus two bonus to AC. I'm glad I'm doing this now. At least, like, my god. If I didn't do this now, we would be running into so many problems down the line. You imbue the, the subject with magical energy that protects it from harm. Stunning barrier. You're closely surrounded by a barely visible magical field. The field provides plus one detection to AC. In. Right. And under the fact that this spell you gain plus two sacred bonus to AC and a plus two sacred bonus to saves. Both these bonuses apply only against attacks or effects. That's very specific. I, I buy undead creatures. <laughs> Maybe for everything undead, and there's a lot of them, I'll consider that. Come upon the strength and wisdom of my deity, you gain plus one luck bonus attack and weapon damage rolls for every three caster levels you have. For sure. The touch you infuse a creature with a tiny such a life granting subject one temporary that is useless. That is so useless. I'm gonna get the stunning barrier. And something else. We need something else. Plus two sacred bonus to AC and says both these bonuses apply only against attacks or effects created by outsiders with the evil subject. That's way too that's too situational. Bless weapon. Transmutation makes a weapon strike true against evil foes. This weapon in your primary hand is treated as a magic weapon for the purpose of overcoming damage resistance. The weapon also becomes good aligned with means it can overcome damage resistance. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> I love this image. Look at this. Uh, your litany is a fascinating diatribe of grace, causing your target to do nothing but listen. The target is fascinated. Any damage to the target automatically breaks the effect. Ah, so you can basically stun them, but you can't do anything to them. Which doesn't sound bad, but at the end of the day, you can't do anything with that. Besides, like, recover and, like, stun the opponent. You're letting the conjures chains of energy that lash upwards from the ground and hamper the target's movement. Okay. Armor you wear no longer reduces your speed, you also reduce the armor check penalty by one plus one per five castle levels when you cast a spell you strengthen your paladin's aura of courage until the end of its duration all allies within the aura are immune to fear you don't have the aura of courage class feature aura of greater courage has no effect with this prayer you provide long last and sucker to a wounded creature for as long as it's da, 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 da. Blessing of Luck and Resolve. A favorite blessing of Halfling Clerics. The spell grants 
Target plus two morale bonus on saving throws against fear effects. No, no, no. They're very, like, paladin esque abilities. I'll give the game that. But they're not incredibly useful. I mean, they're not bad, but yeah. Room chaos uh, allies within 30 feet gain plus two deflection bonus. Oh, actually, since objugation protects from attempts, that don't. Ooh, yeah, we're taking that one. All right, have I missed anyone else? He can't cast spells, already done him. Hus is fine, she's fine. He, he has a lot more skill slots. Shit. And thankfully, I don't have to worry about him. He already does his own thing. Uh, how is she? She... Oof. I think I'm starting to realise why she was so bad earlier. Uh, I I shouldn't have been trashing on the game for this kind of stuff. I... I was not doing my due... due what was it? Due... Diligence? Yeah. Due del diligence, yeah. There's a lot of necromancy here, shit. I'm guessing the fact that's red, does that mean she can't use that? Or something? Oh, that's kind of weird. Touch creature becomes invisible for a short time? Nah. Because of touch. Successful melee touch attacks. Why would there be in melee range with this character? That's just ridiculous. Get rid of that. At least powerful scream at all. Bow to all but a single target. Target stays for one round. Da, 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 sleep. I might just load her up in duplicate cities just so we could. Spell and Crusader Beast. Actually, yeah, that will come in handy just in case she needs to run away. That's been that. I should probably give her an ability in case they get like close up, shouldn't they? One d four. One d one d six. All right. And then we'll just give her some monster just just because. Because, 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 because. Because of the wonderful thing she does. Alright, so yeah, you can like take all of this. Like I don't see why you wouldn't. Wait, what? Why did that take two slots? Okay. Is this is this one of these like alignment systems? Where I'm guessing like you need to be like a, a negative uh like a negative alignment or something, and this is why that's red. So if she wants to cast that she has has to take up two spell slots, I'm guessing. I'm just assuming that granted, but that sounds like it would make sense. Yeah, I think with these abilities, she might actually be really, really strong. The reason she wasn't strong for me was because <laughs> I'm an idiot and only had her using, like, what? Level 0 and level 1 spells, that's why she was in such a state. So I might take her out again just so I can see what each of these does. Use materials from the planes of shadows to shape 
requires a real illusion of one or more creatures. Shadow Conjuration can mimic any sorcerer or wizard conjuration, summoning a conjuration spell. Of third level of lore, Shadow Conjuration is only one fifth as strong as a real thing. Ooh. Right, that's interesting. So she could copy anything on the field it's a, uh, that is of a certain level? Shadow Conjuration can mimic any... Right. Oh, oh, is it, is it trying to say that you can like copy anything? But it can also be like other people's summons if they're low enough in level? Because if it's only other people's summons, that's very, very situational. Uh, you create a phantasmal image of the most fearsome creature imaginable to the subject simply by forming the fears of the subject. Da, 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 da. Right, so put that in there, put that in there. And, uh, wait, what? Alright, alright, that's fine. That's fine. I cannot, I actually can't wait till we get back out here and use our spells. If the character cannot cast spells at this level oh so he knows this but he just doesn't he, he doesn't have the spell level to use it yeah okay it can't be thought photos mean that he's a rogue but he's got like all these spell casting abilities it's kind of strange Shake a burning arc. Spell cause an arc of flame to leap from your fingers, burning one enemy nearby, plus one additional enemy pair to cast, each of which must be within 15 feet. Yeah, why not? Scotch and ray. Blindness. Do you want to give him blindness? Because. Fair enough. General spell grants plus four enhancement bonus to dexterity, which is perfect for him. And anything else? Do we need anything else, man? I'll target 11 creatures or less, then six hit days become frightened. Protection from alignment, all allies. Do, 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 do. Give him invisibility. And then I'll scotch and ray. You don't get most of the bases covered. I love I love this grease spell he's got is way too strong for how cheap it is. Yeah, we're getting that. He gets into the middle of things way too quickly and gets his ass kicked. So getting them something they can get them out of there quickly is probably a good idea. Spell functions is flare except it affects all creatures in a 10 foot radius burst from a target point. The country creates a burst of light. If you cause a light to burst in front of a single creature, that creature is dazzled. Alright. The thing I've found with RPGs is like see like a effects like this one where you daze an opponent you can almost never use that when you need to use them which is kind of a pain in the butt because you'll never see like a status ailment being used in a boss you'll never see that because it makes them too easy go cast it into st instant diminution of a human creature half its height Squeeze's chance the uh, creature size category to the small next smaller one. Target gains plus two size bonus to dexterity, minus two size penalty to strength. Uh, and plus one bonus on attack rolls and AC due to its reduced size. Melee range weapons used by this creature deal less damage, and then why the hell would I want that? I thought that was gonna be a thing I could use in the enemy. I mean I probably can't yeah, I think I can use it in the enemy, it's just it's also giving the enemy bonus stats and that I don't want to do that shit, you know? Yeah, 
me off sickness. <sighs> Why not? Stone bar. Check is required that the invisible creature has a plus 20 bonus on its stealth checks. I get more used to the grease. You can never have enough of that. Okay, I think that's everyone covered. Unless I've missed someone, I don't think I have. Apologies that took so long, but it's, you know, it's kinda necessary we got that out of the way. Oh yeah, I forgot I had all this crap. I feel like I remember giving like one of these characters an item that they didn't need, but I gave them it to like hold on to it, you know, kind of thing. Where is it? Ah, was it him? Uh, plus two enhancement bonus to wisdom. Surprisingly, I think that may actually benefit her the most. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it to her. Where the hell did they go? Wait, wait, what? Where's the damn... Don't tell me I just dropped that on the ground. I'm gonna do a quick test here. Eggs. What happens if I do this? It just goes back. Alright, so that should still be in his head. It's still in his head, okay. Thank God. I know it's not the most amazing item, but that would have sucked to have lost. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go through half these items. I'm sure I've got a bunch of stuff that we can give to characters that's so much better than what we've currently got on. Oh, there we got the rapier upgrade. Yeah, that's a lot better. There you go. I'm gonna be bringing her back out into combat soon enough. Wait, what? She can't use that? <laughs> no, she can't. Okay. Can't be used by this cat. Oh my god, okay. We don't have any shield upgrades. And I don't think we have any weapon, like armor upgrades, do we? Nope, didn't look like it. It's mostly just weapons and stuff we've got. My god, I really need to get rid of this stuff. Holy shit, the encumbrance is ridiculous. Right. Is this any better? 3 to 10, that's not better. One handed, three to eight, that's not better either. Is this better? No. That's three to three to ten. Alright, that that's definitely better. Wait a second, why are we Oh I forgot about her. Except she's a she's not a spell 
I spell cast so I don't have to worry about her not having uh, what should we call it spell book upgrades I was like for a second there being like Christ I need to get her spell book sorted as well but nah no we're fine oh yeah I took this ball for hard didn't I yeah These weapon condi conditions are an absolute bitch. Like, why can you not use a bow? Oh, she can use a bow. Is that any better? Is it worse? It is. It's only good if it crits. And that is it. That's the only benefit. Oh Jesus, I didn't realise his weapon was so shit. 1 to 10? Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah buddy, that's freaking awful. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you that just because I feel bad. Holy shit. You take you can't take pose, of course you can't. Why would you? That'd be too convenient. Two nine. It's two handed. Why run that that like super holy salt that I have? I'm guessing I put it back in the storage. Obviously, I'm keeping all the good stuff for my guy, because, like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> Voice of... Oh, yeah. I forgot I picked up. Can we use for skill check? Okay. My god, she has nothing. She has, like, no equipment at all. Uh, I don't know if I should give her a sword or what, just to give us like some sort of additional protection. Might not be the worst idea. Yeah, it's, it's probably a good idea. If she gets attacked too close, we'll just, you know, swap over to that. Then we you, we'll just. Yeah, give you that ball. Why not, buddy? Here's a ball. Yeah, you're gonna appreciate it, but I'm never gonna use you, so it doesn't matter. Like, what the hell is that? Elven curve blade? So, like, do we need an elf to be able to use that? Yeah, I'm a 2 5. 3 11. Oof. Alright. Bye bye. I'm not going to throw away any magic items. I, I mean, they're worth a lot of money, but. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't bring myself to throw away magic items in these games. Plus two bonus to intelligence. Hmm. I get one that's just about set. I mean, I could give them like eight ones on here, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I I'm just not gonna. We'll we'll leave Ember behind just for the minute. I I just don't have any use for her as it stands. Oh, double play, double X. What do I lawful good? See, see, this is what I don't get. This sword says it can be wielded by lawful good, lawful neutral, but we have got a character that's lawful 
good. But she can't for the life here use that weapon. I don't know why. Two seconds. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring a few of this these weapons over. And just obviously dump the ones we can't use, because yeah. Alright, so what we got? We've got this axe here. Did I just dump this rapier? What is it? What the hell is it doing back here? Alright, so we got this axe here. I'm gonna just bring this over just real quick. It probably seems like I'm min-maxing right now. <laughs> I am definitely min-maxing. I just want to like guarantee that we're ready. Jesus, that's a lot of magic items. A sovereign dra When the hell did I get a freaking dragon? Thank you. Why in shit's name would I put that in the storage? Much in terror glaive. This is why you keep sh keep stuff. Because you come upon them later on and you're like, that, that's actually surprisingly good for this character we just recruited. 314. Ooh, these are some good weapons. I'm guessing the reason I've not used them up till now is probably because the game's been like, oh, this character can't use this weapon because they're not like the right class or something. So I've just been holding on to it just until that point. Alright, let's do a double check on this. <laughs> I've been doing an hour, an hour of the stream so far, and it's just been like prep, just preparation. Though then again, I like a good portion of D&D &D campaigns is basically this shit, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, what the, oh, what did I just do there? I just like equipped that and it like added something to my, to my character, did it? I think it did. Because, like, I'm only just noticing this. This dark field that I've got here. He's running, he's running around his waist. Huh. Me use the same to grant your party talk consumer against range die. That I probably should use that sometime. <laughs> I forgot I even had that. Oh, the cat actually gives... It, it, it gives morale bonus. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, buddy, what can I what can I get you? Probably not armor. No, definitely not armor. Glaive. I mean it's better. I'm gonna check this guy first. I think yeah, he deserves like a like a big glaive. Or something to that effect. Yeah, we'll give him this. This is, this is a good one. There you go, buddy. And armor. Nope. 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 This one? Nope. It's not as stale. Ooh, 3 to 14. Hell yes. Yeah. There you go. Oof. I may actually bring you into combat now because you're you're gonna be super super kicking ass for once. I fully admit that was my bad. That was my bad. You should have been way better, and I was just not equipping you with the right skills or anything. So uh, my apologies. All right, what else can I get? Give her like something else, maybe. I don't think I can. Three to ten. Three to nine. No. It doesn't appear to be. You. You probably get everything you need at the moment, don't you? Last time I tried to give her better armor, she was like, I'm not having it. And I like, weight shot all the way up. 30 pounds, that is way heavy 
No, no, she's perfectly fine. And you? Ooh, she can take this really cracking axe, but her, yeah, again, her sword is just that good. Which, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with because it means I don't have to bother my backside. Two to nine. No, no, no. All right. Yeah, she's perfectly fine. Mr. Buddy, I think you're fine with the daggers, aren't you? Yep, 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 yep. Can't equip any of that armor, as per usual. You, buddy, you've got a really, really shit ranged weapon, but I can't really do much about that. You know, spellcaster anyway, so who, who really cares? Uh, 2 to 2 7. 3 to 8. Kalpaz nails it. The additional 1d3 piercing damage per hit. It's all well and good, but it's not good enough. And why are you not wearing any armor? Like, at all? What the hell? You know, at least have you wear light armor, you know? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Shit. Come and slows down the character and increases fatigue. Wonderful. 20 arcane spell failure. And this is, that is light armor. I may have to just not have him in armor. As bad as that is, I think, yeah. At least until I don't have to worry about encumbrance on him. And her. She can't wear anything because she's a fox. Could give her a dagger, but nah. Oh, I could give her this. That's about it. There's legit like nothing else I can give her. And her. Yeah, I've already went over the armor uh, and weapons and stuff, didn't we? I could give her like some heavy stuff, but. If she was going into melee, I think it would make. What, what the hell is this? Should default equipment? Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Huh. That's actually kind of cool. I could, I could like change. Why does it look like his hair's made of gold? <laughs> However, yeah, I could change what they look like. I could like choose to show like each of the equipment. I could show what they look like as default. Like here's a, here's a default one. And yeah, nah. Even though it looks a bit goofy, I still like to see the characters with their their items represented. You know. And I think everything else is just going to go in the chest, isn't it? Spell failure. I don't really need to worry about the spell failure with her too much. Because she doesn't cast spells. I could give her this chain shot though, it's, it's actually better. It's plus one style leather armor, grants wear DR. Nah, we'll keep her with that. If she gets piercing as an effect for that, yeah, she's keeping it. What did I just do there? Oh, did I put, I put the potion in, didn't I? Right, and the box, and the box, and everything else is getting sold. Everything that's not a rare item is getting sold. Apart from, like, the scrolls and shit, because we, we might need that eventually. Probably not, but we might. I would stand by never throw away aims like this. You might come across some instance where you actually need it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so we're gonna save because I'm not doing all that again. No thank you very much. Alright. So that's the first hour done, and we've got all of our party stuff settled. What the 
as this. Inspire Rage. This ability allows the character to accept effects of Inspire Rage. If it is disabled, the character won't affect it won't accept the effects of Inspire Rage from any scald. What the hell is that? what the hell does that even mean? I mean I'll equip it, but And the cat's ability is just perpetually on. And we're going to turn on the dragon as well. Alright, that should be fine. And out we Let's go. See what we can do. Let's go to that blacksmith, shall we? Hey, wind dog. What do you think of your new powers? Oh, I made the right choice when I decided to serve you, master. This power you have given me. I always felt I was destined to possess such might. Of course you did. My voice is soft and deep like a cat's purr. I don't want to see you anywhere now. She's not really developing that much recently though, is she? I've talked to Darren about the estate. He's going to celebrate his birthday at Heaven's Edge, so we can go there as guests. A celebration? This is far from ideal. It'll be rather inconvenient for me to conduct the investigation with all the guests around. Wouldn't it be more convenient because you can just slip in? Thank you nonetheless, Commander. When you decide to go to the estate, I will join you. Chapter 10. Ooh, Socio. I've not talked to you in a while. I don't want you in my party and we'll go away. <laughs> uh, where are you from? From Andorin. I grew up in the outskirts of Carpeden, a, rich, a large rich city. Surrounded by gardens and vineyards. Just imagine miles and miles of greenery and fragrant orchards. So that's why I want to hail with pleasure as if he could still sense the aromas of his faraway homeland. My family had a small winery. I worked there from a young age. I pressed juice, did a little carpentry, painted, and one day I discovered I could do more with, with painting and simply cover walls with it. There was a temple of Shellin nearby. My brother and I would often spend our days there listening to music and enjoying the stained glass windows. As a boy, my brother decided to devote himself to serving the Eternal Rose. Our parents hoped that at least I would remain to run the family business, but it makes an apologetic gesture and flashes a disarming smell. It can't be helped. The goddess called me too. Oh god, can you imagine having both of your both of your sons running off to the priesthood? That must be rough on the parents. I have plenty of cousins, second cousins and other relatives. I mean, that's fair. When this war is over, I'll go back there and see how they're doing. So you're an artist? The cleric smiles shyly. He seems like a nice guy. That's too grand a word for it. But yes, I love to paint and I know how to. Of course, a crusade isn't the best place to paint. Oh, it really isn't. Uh, what I managed to draw here is at uh, best sketches. I hope when this war is over, I'll be able to turn them into real paintings. Uh, <laughs> evil. You're just faffing around. We're at war. Find something useful to do. That's such an asshole thing to say. Uh, Fascinating messages, your sketches. There's nothing special to it in them, but if you're really interested, so she'll hand you a, folded, a folder filled with pencil sketches. You recognize familiar fighters in some of the portraits. The cleric drew them without flattery, just as they are, but beneath the features that seem bored and even ugly in life, Sushu's hand has found inner beauty, power, and dignity. The tired faces of soldiers covered with wrinkles and scars resemble an army of angels. There are landscapes in the folder as well. At first you don't understand why these blooming hills, shady groves and shimmering springs seem so familiar, but you've passed by these places as you travelled around the world and though you saw them dark and maimed by the demonic influence, Sosio's pencil has restored them to their former beauty, which the demons stole from them. I wish you could say it's are fighting to return. And instead of working as a craftsman you decide to serve the deity, an interesting turn of fate. So she nods with a smile. Some clerics are proud of their tender hands, which have never touched anything heavier than a brush. But there's nothing ugly about hard-earned calluses. Absolutely. Indeed, I should say that saving the world is easier with strong hands. The smile disappears from Social's face, and looks, and he looks down, adding, "I'm sorry these hands couldn't save the people who died at Canberra's. I mean, buddy, it was a losing battle. What do you want? That was rough. How did you end up in Canberra? I'm just getting this up." 
<laughs> if you're wondering why I'm doing this after instead of like getting to combat and stuff, I'm I'm doing this because it means we don't have to do it later. I, I'm just saying. A grim shadow falls over the cleric's face. I was hoping to find Trevor in the city of my brother. Oh, after my brother took his vows and was ordained a paladin of Shellen, he departed for a crusade. He wrote home often about everything he saw. His battle was the people he helped. From his letters, I learned that he had joined the Eagle Watch in Canabras. But soon his letters became infrequent and then they stopped altogether. We feared news of his death, but silence was our only answer. Not a word from him or from his command, or his brothers in arms. Nothing. In the end, I couldn't wait any longer and I came here myself to find Trevor. If he's still alive or his grave, if he should have perished. But, but my brother seems to have vanished. I tried asking the other pardons, but they refused to talk to me. And it's very much like they're trying to avoid the need to lie. I sent official requests to their orders at command. Still, I wait in vain for an answer. I joined the local church of Shellen, hoping to find out the truth one day, but the city was attacked by demons. Uh, you should commendable persistence in the face of such trouble. Most would give up the search and leave. If foolish with your brother out of the way, if you stayed at home, na 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 na. Evil is. <laughs> well, evil, but it's, it just seems like just needlessly harsh for no good reason. I mean, I can stand by good. Good is. Well, not this one. I can stand by lawful. Good just seems to be like a bunch of pleasantries. Should command with persistence in the face of such trouble, and most would give up the search and leave, yeah. Yes, persistence. The cleric eyes. Uh, the cleric's eyes stare into the distance. You know, I got that from my brother. Trevor never, never gave up. If he had to wait, he waited. If he had to use force, he did. When he fell, he always got up. And got me up too. That was so much weaker than him. I could never betray everything he taught me. Uh, da, 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 da. How did you manage to always look like you're on your way to a tea party, not a battle? That's harsh. What's the sound of the goddess of beauty doing in a war zone? I think we already know that answer. Uh, I'm doing what the goddess destined me for. To keep our fighters safe, I am confident of victory. The gods are da da da. Right, that's very obvious. Uh, how do you manage to always look? Nah, nah, nah. Your art is touching. Perhaps I could pose... I could pose for a portrait someday. Just to, No, that's flirting. No, I'm good, thank you. How did you end up at the court of Queen Galfrey? The clerk looks down. He's looking down a lot. <laughs> He's got a lot of reflecting to do, I think. When the city was attacked by demons, there was a hospital and a church. Every one of us re repaired... Oh, uh, God. <laughs> I'm tripping over my words here. Every one of us was prepared to fight to the last cover the evacuation but our mother superior wouldn't let me join the fight she sent me for uh, she sent me for help and everyone who stayed was killed that's lucky why did she choose me maybe it was because I was new the youngest and least experienced of the clerics I wouldn't be much help in battle or maybe maybe she was giving me a chance to survive while the rest of them bravely died shall be my witness I did not ask for this I would be honored to lay my own head next to theirs I ran to the closest Mendavian garrison I don't know by what miracle I got there. There were demons all around and everything was on fire. Remember my horse was killed right under me when I fought off some shrieking monsters. But when I came to, I awoke among friends. My first thought was when it must be a dream. In my delirium, Queen Galfrey herself was dressed in my wounds, but it was true. It was the Queen herself, tend to a lowly soldier. That's how I ended up in her army. I marched with them back to Canabras to the ruins. Tell me about your brother? This is weird. Okay. Trevor, he's always been my hero ever since we were children. I was a coward always telling petty lies, always running away from danger. Ah, so it's one of these scenarios where he was like the... He was the bad kid. And ended up looking up to his, his brother. He was seen as much better than him. So he's going to end up rising up to be much better than his brother in the end. Or dedicate himself to his memory. Either way. Trevor always ran towards it. He had this saying, an army stands until peace comes. A lie stands until the truth comes. He never lied, never let injustice pass, never. The cloud's voice trembled, uh, trembles and breaks, and he shakes his head. He was eight when he said he was going to be a pardon, and he always went towards that goal, day after day, never looking back. I remember the day he went off to fight. I thought, this is it. 
the war will finally end. Trevor will defeat all the demons and close the whirlwind, but social gestures helplessly. That was interesting. Joe, you know I'm gonna Yeah, let's talk to the sword. I've not talked to the sword in a hot minute. He talked too much, just annoyed your weapon, nothing more. Oof. Uh, do you realize that you're a weapon? What kind of question is that? I mean, sure, the clerks keep going on about every crusader being a weapon. Oh my god. But I don't speak of myself in fancy words like that. I'm just a lad with two arms, two legs, which you don't have. And more freckles than I'd like. I choose where to go and whom to fight. I don't want to see someone's to be someone's weapon, you hear? Arden is dead and everyone decides their fate. How did you become a Pathfinder? I've always wanted to be one ever since I was a kid. I remember I'd go out at the edge of the village at sunset and then just keep walking until I get tired or someone dragged me back by my ear. It was like something was drawing me away from home. My clan wasn't the nomadic kind. Before the wind opened, the idea of travelling anywhere would never have crossed my mind, uh, the minds of many of my, in the clan. They were content with their community or, or the patch of land, but I'd always wanted to see what lay beyond the bend in the road, over that familiar hill beyond the horizon. My father, he wanted to teach me to be a shaman like him, but as soon as I came of age, I was off looking for the Pathfinder Society, and I found it. I wonder if it's because he was, like, from shaman stock, that he's now imbued into a weapon. Probably not. Probably someone is, like... Oh, wait, didn't we see that when we found him? Like, someone has extracted his soul and put it into a weapon or something? Oh, wait, yeah, I think that we saw that with him from the storyteller, yeah. And I found it in his... After three weeks travelling on foot, I passed the trousers and they accepted me. My father hasn't spoken to me since. That's alright. Once he hears of my great deeds, he'll come around someday. All I wanted was to rush off to some faraway land and find a treasure trove no one else had discovered yet. But I knew I had the duty to Sarkosis, Sarkoros. Then the window opened, the demons, the havoc, in the end I never went anywhere. But as soon as things calm down, I'm setting off to explore Aslant. I've already decided. Great ancient ruins, that's my kind of life. Being surrounded by the wreckage here is depressing, as I'm sure you know. Uh, do you remember anything from before you ended up in Canavers? There's uncertainty in Finian's voice. I mean, a lot of things happened. I remember how happy everyone was when the Wardstone was placed in Canabras. That was some celebration. Finian is silent for a few moments. And I remember when the cultists took me, cut down my whole party and dragged me to the ring leader. Don't know his name, everyone just called him the Bladesmith. But after that, my memory is all fuzzy. For some reason he didn't sacrifice me or anything, just knocked me around. Said he'd be looking for a phantom blade for a long time. I don't remember why. How I escaped, what I did, can't remember that either. Some crusader picked me up in the wound. Brought to Canberras. And that's where I stayed, licking my wounds. Maybe there was a mix up and now they think I'm dead? Why else would none of them contact me this whole time? Uh, there's a good reason for that buddy. There's a very good reason. Not a good reason, but still. The what's the one you say? What are you describing having, de having decades ago? That's rich. Then she's going to tell me I've been sleeping for decades. Last year that was. Well, maybe the year before last. I couldn't have been wandering the wound that long. I would have been either dead or an old geezer by now. Nah, quit messing with me. Yeah, Finny, you need to understand. You're not human anymore. You're, you're literally a dagger right now. Finny's voice sounded concerned. Like, does he not get... That we are basically holding them in our hand having this conversation <laughs> hey are you feeling all right maybe you need to let take uh, to have a lie down i'm standing right in front of you put me if you like as human as they come or do you think my travels have worn me down so much i've become an animal no happening my folks taught me to stay human always no matter the circumstances to remember who i am and never to shame my ancestors are you still able to commune with the spirits Maybe I can. Only they don't answer. They want to answer me. I'm still a spiritualist. A phantom blade. My power is within me. <laughs> phantom blade. Nice. But I have this feeling that like I'm separated from the spirit world by some kind of transparent wall. I keep knocking, but no one can hear me. I think. Finny and Fossey a truffle. Guess all the bladesmith's torture did a number on me. He broke something inside. 
Tell me about the Pathfinder Society. Oh, well, something's folks costs our names. Con has opportunities, opportunists who just want to line our pockets. That's only part of it. We're travelers, explorers, solvers of mysteries, and fighters of evil. I mean, good coin hasn't hurt any, anybody yet, but for folks like me, it's not what matters most. We're curious to see the world play a part in everything, stick our nose in everything. Getting into a circle isn't easy. First, you must prove that you can endure any place you're sent to, that you won't shy away or flee. That's why you'll never catch a long line of applicants outside any society lodge. Every lodge has a venture captain, and if they approve your, approve your application, they're in. And there are many, uh, many lodges all over the world. But the main one, the Grand Lodge, is located far away in Albasalm. Al Absalom. Absalom, yeah. I've never been there myself, but I've heard a lot of stories about it. And about the Des Desimberit that govern all Pathfinder affairs from there. Ah. I wonder how many Pathfinder campaigns start around there. Probably quite a bit. Hey Darren. Or oh, Darren. Did you also receive a faction of that unusual power? Looks like it. I generally hope that getting away from you would be the end of it. If the gift truly did come from Imadai, to give me a smidge of that power was a very subtle joke on her part. I had no idea that a divine lightbringer of Mendev even had, had a sense of humour. Don't get me started on my many acts of sacrilege against her. That I've seen engraving the truth about the test of the star stone is the tamest one by far. May I ask you a few personal questions? You can try. Did I not ask any of these earlier? Huh. I think we've gotten to know like every companion apart from the ones we've dealt with today. Like I've just had a line of them. I've heard stories about the tragedy that befell your family. I hope you don't feel obliged to offer me your sincere condolences on this unfortunate occasion. My whole family, my entire noble line, they all died, and demons are to blame. It's not like I actually loved any of my relatives except for my mother, but what's gone is gone. The family crypts are full of corpses, all covered in dust in the shadows of the past. What do you cherish most in life? There are far too many things that I cherish to fit them all into a single conversation. Believe it or not, but I might be one of the the most life-loving people you've ever known, Darren smiles. His eyes are gleaming with something different from his usual impudence and irony. There's a dreamy air about him all of a sudden. I rarely meet any, anyone who embraces the joys of life as enthusiastic as myself. There's so many exciting and beautiful things in the world that it should be illegal to waste your time on anything you do not enjoy. I mean, that's fair. Like, it'd be amazing. See if you could live a life where you could only do the stuff you enjoy. And not have to worry about things you hate, but unfortunately that's just been overly optimistic. And I'm not afraid to repeat that to anyone's face. Should it be Discari and his demonic heart head, or Imadai the Lightbringer herself? <laughs> I'm actually going to like him quite a bit. He's he's a lot less of a bastard than I thought he was. And I thought he was a massive bastard when we first found him. What do you hate the most? The feeling of helpless, helplessness. Lack of a control over my own life. Darren replies without thinking. Then he adds with obvious sarcasm. And onion rings, of course. Oh, oh. Him and me are just... Oh, what's, what's, the, what's the expression? Buds of a feather. There we go. He hates onions as well. I wonder the person who came up with those above me. Oh, yes. Awesome. Love him. He's quietly become my favourite character. How, how is this even possible? He doesn't seem especially keen on helping people, but your knowledge of healing is truly impressive. What prompted your interest in that? Yeah, I'm actually kind of curious about that myself. Ah, uh, if you really want to try out everything life has to offer, you also have to understand how to deal with the consequences. And I'm not talking about a simple hangover, mind you. Ah. So if he fucks up, he can mend the problem that he caused? Huh. Okay. I guess we'll figure, figure out what he's specifically talking about down the line, maybe. Do you have any good stories about your past exploits? I've got plenty, but I have to warn you that even the most outrageous debauchery sounds far less thrilling when you are not the one doing the debauching. Still, since you asked, I suppose the worst mess I've ever got myself into was when I staged my own kidnapping, <laughs> as you do. 
I was once in correspondence with one of the Reverend nobles. <clears throat> Two seconds, gonna go a quick, quick drink. This is a lot of back to back reading. Uh, but it's good to get this out of the way before we hit Act 3, you know? <sighs> the Lord, uh, the young Lord Lebeda, and he told me about his days as a hostage to a group of bandits. This made me wonder what it would be like. I thought that it might be fun to set up a little experiment. I engineered my own kidnapping by a certain gang through a chain of intermediaries and hired actors. Those fellows took the job very seriously. They caught me by surprise, killed my two bodyguards, Jesus, even tied me up. Of course, the whole thing seemed preposterous now, but it seems like the ingenious idea at the time. The employers had told the kidnappers that they were to keep me safe and sound, and another group of mercenaries in disguise was watching the spectacle from afar. Ready to intervene in case anything went wrong. It turns out to be a terrible idea, nonetheless. It wasn't the least bit fun or exciting. Sure those bandits have been unable to torture me or hurt me physically in any way. They had plenty of other non-invasive methods of humiliation in their arsenal. Taking almost all my your clothes off and splashing ice cold water all over you, for example. Ugh, I can't even remember if I said anything truly offensive to provoke them. Even though I initially planned to let them go after the ransom. Their overly emotional reactions made me change my mind. I told my mercenaries to hang them all on the spot. I suppose the whole ordeal taught me a valuable lesson, which is that I am not built for hardship and trials. <laughs> he is a very interesting man. Wait, you just told me that a couple of your bodyguards died during the staged kidnapping. Does that mean two innocent people lost their lives so that you could have a bit of fun? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. A cruel jokes bring people nothing but misery, that's just pointless platitudes. I say life's too short not to try out everything you can. Ah, uh, shit. These minions of yours will come back to bite you sooner or later. I hope not, I enjoy, enjoy myself, I enjoy my life. I'd like to keep this going for as long as possible. I really wanted to choose that chaotic option but it just didn't, it just didn't work with me. I'm trying as best I can to like pick the choices that feel right for the character that I'm trying to like do. So yeah. So that was a stupid story and now I'll tell you a truly brilliant one. Prelate Hulrun, oh that asshole, had always strictly prohibited any public celebrations in Canaveras and he always picked on me for my lack of respect for the fallen and whatnot. His grumbling annoyed me so much that one day I drove four barges into the city harbour and set up a celebration on their decks. The ships never ever didn't fall under the prelate's jurisdiction, you should, oof. <laughs> nice, I love it. You see, so all he could do was stare at me from the embankment. I for one did not forget the old boy. The main attraction of the festivities involved an inquisitor of Imadai dancing and roasting beautiful witches on, what? Witches on it. illusory bonfires, taking off his clothes with every new victim. The spectacle was so heated in every sense of the word, the prelate almost had a stroke. Then give you a mischievous smile. Wait, did the Inquisitor actually do that? Hmm. Illusory. So hopefully not. I still consider that one of my finest ideas of all time. Should the Crusaders ever succeed in their efforts against the whirlwind, I will do my utmost to get permission to hold a grand public celebration <laughs> on the river. Oh wait, we don't even need to do it in the river because freaking Hallrun is dead now. Rivers of wine of free of charge, obligatory parade and a carnival in the evening, a contest for the most provocative succubus costume and a hefty prize in gold, not a contest where the participants have to fish out a sausage of a wine jar blindfolded with their hands tied behind their backs. The wine will symbolise the blood of all the dead heroes of the war, and the sausage, well they'll find a heroic meaning for that as well. Over the years the commemoration commemoration of the greatest victory of light over darkness will turn into an ordinary holiday. I find the excuse to get sloshed and rut like animals in the streets. Uh, yeah, I'm liking him as a character. Alright, where's that place? Ooh, sailing. Do I have anything else to talk to you about? I don't think I do, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, here we go. The fate of the League of the Cart affected you greatly. Yeah, it really did. So you could see, I did what I thought was right. I tried to help a good person with their troubles, and what came of it? I'm sorry, but 
I won't find peace until I track down Curl and Janna. What were they thinking? Is there any way to get through to them? Or should I just admit I was terribly wrong? There's another thing that's worrying me. The way people react to your power and mine. They think that if we've been chosen by Emodai, they need to pray at our feet. I'm not comfortable with the younger warriors hanging on my every word, say so I smile sourly. I feel alone. Nobody else is going to sit with me and celebrate saving a beer cart. Ah, oh, she misses her friends. That sucks. I'd like to regain, if not the friendship, at least the trust of the other knights. Especially those I respect and consider my friends like Ellen. Yeah, I get that. Here we go. Alright, where's that blacksmith? Mysterious elf, what? Ooh, what? Okay. That was that was weird. I was not expecting that. What, what? Oh, can I can I can I take horse? No, I can't take horse. Okay. I would talk to Rejo right now, but I I don't care. <laughs> I like to say I do care, but I, I actually don't care about him that much. I don't mind them, but at the same time I don't want to be friends with them, you know? It's that kind of thing. We'll talk to Ember some other time. I, I don't really care to at the moment. Where the, where the hell is the blacksmith? Can't oh, he's down here, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Bulk sailing, sailing in disguise. There you go, buddy. Here's all the crap. There. 1,700. Thank you. I'm starting to get all our money back again. I spent way too much on potions last time, but we, we really needed it. So I'm not going to complain. No more about you. Oh, God damn it. I thought we already knew enough about him already. Ah, screw it. We'll talk to him some all the time. I can't be asked. I've already talked to her. Apparently, off. she is very close mouthed. Like she doesn't want to see, talk about anything. Like, why are you so closed off? Oh well. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I feel like changing about the part. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna bring him in. Peace! How's it going, buddy? Thanks for popping. I hope you have a super super good day. I see that you finished the last what was it, dungeon? Raid? Either way. I see that you finished the last one in Final Fantasy 14 and as well as the solo ones, and you just get the Uh what was it? It's it oh god, what did they call that again? Uh, the one where you need to go through the multiple floors on the ground in like one quick succession kind of thing. Ultimate. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> that's good, guys. So basically, like, you just need to wait till the next update for more content, basically. And before that, you, you don't have to do much else. Besides, like, obviously play a game when you want to for fun, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. Who should I bring with me? Alright, so we get melee, we get ranged, we get melee, we get ranged, we get ranged. Huh. Yeah, let's go with this. I need to change the party up a little bit. Ultimates are the hardest things. Usually takes months oof, to clear one. Holy shit. There are five ultimates right now. The next ultimate will release the next expansion. Oof. That's badass. How long did it take you, uh, you and your guild to finish the, the last few of them? Or I'm guessing like it was just like one for the newest expansion? 
Because I, I know you've been tanking away at that, because you said you've been spending a lot of time with like a high-up guild uh, to get these things out of the way. Party? Oh, party, yeah. To, I need to move these out of the way and then reinforce. I cleared for them a year or two ago with a different group. I joined one of the top EU groups and got this one cleared very quickly in five weeks. Oof. That's actually really good. Well, because you were saying that it can take months. I just shows how good the amount of players are. And I, I saw the screenshots in that as well. That's awesome. I need to get back to Final Fantasy XIV, I really do. I've just had too many games to play. I'm planning plan on getting back to Monster Hunter next, next week. Hopefully get uh, a good way into Master Rank. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Alright, I think I know what we're going to do here. Just give me, give me all these guys. Then give me all these. And him. Um, oh, is it just 15? Did this be a massive mistake? No, no, no. We'll save it for now. Oh, if you ever want to play Monster Hunter together, that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Just beat the crap out of dragons together. Well, weapons. I don't think there's... I think technically... Yeah, there's definitely dragons in, in Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's like the whole point, isn't it? Like, Elder Dragons are like the highest leveled threat in the game. So it took 583 pulls, attempts... On average, it takes 1,400. Oh my god. Can you imagine just like... That would be just so insane. Because I, I I know what that feels like. Because I played Warcraft for, for a long ass time. And did like the high end... Get, well, most of the high end raids. Especially Nax Ramus. Nax Ramus was a bitch. That shit took hours. In one attempt, you know. Like 583 pulls off. Just imagine. I'm guessing it was like a really good party you had. Because like that kind of thing, it, it mostly depends on how reliable your team is and like the synergy and stuff. If they're like really, really freaking frustrating to be around, you'll, you never get it done. So you need to like gel really, really well. Top 5 in the EU? Jesus. <laughs> that's a hell of an achievement, Ace. Like, that's that's absolutely cracking. And then as soon as the, the next the next ultimate comes out, you, you guys just get back together again and just beat it in like <laughs> in like 100 attempts or something. What is this? Four? How can I see how much strength we currently have? I'm gonna save again. I need to try reading the MMO again. <sighs> it can be tempting to like no life Final Fantasy XIV and then like blitz it until I get to a reading point. <sighs> but I've got too many other games to play right now, annoyingly. But not annoyingly, I like the other games, like I love this game for example. 
But like back when I played Warcraft, I was playing that like every single day, like no shit. Every single day. For most of the day. And at that point, I, I think I literally didn't need any other game. I was just so enthralled by, by Warcraft. Right, I need. How do I switch here? I'm gonna get you like really close to setting because I don't actually need you right now. Yeah, there we go, that'll do. And then we got a party, and we'll go like searching all this additional shit. Inconspicuous camp. Oh yeah, I've got like a pet dragon now. notes nice then have you been on power world yet uh no i've, I've not been able to the, the, the last couple of days <laughs> sorry is yes. i've I, i've been working and then i had like a collab yesterday and stuff but i will get on to it i promise buddy i promise Beige Cobalt sitting by the small campfire greets you with an amic amicable gesture. He doesn't reach for his weapon or hiss threateningly. I mean, I don't care, I was just curious. No, no, I'll, I'll definitely be on. I, I, I super, super will. It's just time constraints, you know? I wish I had more time. I really do. I would play so many more games. <laughs> uh, I would also paint more as well. I've not been painting recently either. It's kind of a bummer. Kinda makes me want to work part time again, but then I wouldn't be getting the same amount of money. I have eight collabs this week. Oof. Oh Jesus. I guess I shouldn't be that surprised you're that sought after. So so what's in the playing cards? Is it like lethal company? Is it uh what would it what would it be? I'm guessing it'd be a lot of like power world and stuff, like power world with Misty. Or like Lethal Company with Cass or something like that. Maybe too much to list, but none of those. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> I'll see if I can catch them. Hopefully. If it's later on in the day, tomorrow, I will definitely be able to catch it. Because I'm I'm doing nothing tomorrow. Which is so nice. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Oh no, his behavior is highly unusual for one of his kind. His clothes look quite unusual too. Not many cobalts opt for human clothing, nor do they adorn their possessions with spikes or scales. Greetings, my name is Krenok. I'm all alone here, so you, you may safely come closer. He speaks smoothly without the usual cobalt hissing. Moving slightly aside, the cobalt points to the carcass of a small animal and a stick roasting on the fire. Dinner will be ready soon. I'm getting curious now, like what? What like collab games is there? Uh, don't talk or nobody explodes, maybe? <laughs> this is this gonna bug me? Just slightly. Because, like, there's only so many games I've seen you play collab. Mm. They're usually around the same ones as well. Maybe it's because I'm not following the people you're collabing with. It's probably that, isn't it? Yeah. Cobots <laughs> uh, are really courteous a lot, it would seem. I never expected to receive an invitation to dinner from one of your kind. It's a guest rather than a dish, that is. I didn't exactly invite you, Count. My invitation was addressed to the commander. How does he know who we are? But sit down and help yourself. Beyond the walls of your fancy mansions, you'll find surprises far more unusual than my humble self. A cobalt? I've met the, them underground. Small, weak, sneaky, worthless in face-to-face -face combat. 
but they love setting snares and shooting you in the back. This one seems smarter than the others, and he talks well, so that must mean the trap he's laid is an especially devious one. Be careful, master, don't go near him. Better to shoot him from a distance. I'm actually quite curious on it. Like, how does he know who we are? That's, that's the bizarre thing. So yeah, I'm kind of getting what she's saying. I don't trust this particularly. Wait, what? Was it you who left me that note? The cobalt shrugs. Of course, who else could it be? I want to make sure you were interested in the information I can provide. Who are you? As I've already mentioned, my name is Krinuk at your service, but more specifically, who are you? The cobalt offers a short bow. Uh, bow. <laughs> Jesus. An unusual gesture for one of his kind to make. As a rule, cobalts do not express the respect to anyone other than dragons. Oh, I did not know that. Granted, I, I don't have a D&D manual, so... I'm a traveller and a friend to the crusade. I can be your friend too if you're tolerant towards cobalts. I mean, I don't mind. Krennic utters the word tolerant with shocking ease, as if he is something other than the narrow-minded and savage subterranean beast you expect him to be. Cobalts are infamous for worshipping dragons and despising all our races, and a few of them would even understand the concept of tolerance. That one subscribed to it. Wait, what did you say? Tolerant? Are you sure you're a cobalt? Ah, so you saw through my disguise. Krenok tried to mislead you with sweet words in an ambush. Wait, what is this? The cobalt utters a loud hiss, which then morphs into a amused, amused chuckle. Of course I'm a cobalt, trust me. You're not the first to be shocked after hearing me speak and realising that I'm not going to rob you or kill you. I'm lucky. If representatives of other races were want to be seen as intellectual or decent conversationalists, they have to read a lot of books, refine their manners, but this surpassing knowledge of classical theatre and douse themselves in fine perfume. Whereas in my case, all I have to do is not lunge at you with a spear or hiss every word. I mean, fair. What are you cooking? Judging by its ears and hind legs, it's a hare. The cobalt casts a dubious glance at the animal's mouth, which boasts a set of huge teeth. Or maybe it's a tiger. Depends on your point of view, I suppose. I like him. Don't try to be cute, Cobalt. It doesn't suit you. You ninny. I'm as charming as the gum. I mean, he's not bad. Bro, Cobalt. Uh, what do you want from me? I want nothing from you. I'm asking for nothing. I'm simply offering help. I sympathise with your cause, so I would like to provide whatever support I can from time to time. Does that work for you? The Cobalt stops and looks at you expectantly. How exactly can you help me? With advice mostly, throughout my life I've seen a lot. And a piece of timely advice can be extremely valuable, don't you agree? Of course if your advisor is a cobalt, the merits are not obvious, but you're in luck. This cobalt right here has... Uh, wait, two seconds. Shit, I forgot. Damn, I keep forgetting to do this every freaking stream. This cobalt right here has an extensive knowledge of a variety of manners, uh, matters that you might find useful someday. After some thought, he nods towards the camp campfire. One more thing I have to offer is this hair after it's cooked. Okay. How do you know so much about demons? Kurnak gives you a long and heavy look. I've had some experience with them. I don't want to go into the details right now. All I'm seeing is that after a sh rather short and not even hostile encounter with them, I stopped eating meats for several years. Ah, so it's that kind of demons. Okay. What's the catch? No catch, I'm acting for wholly altruistic reasons, but my motives are something I would rather not reveal. Krennock turns his face to you and his wrinkles become more visible in the glow of the fire. We just met five minutes ago, don't you think it's too early to expect complete candor just yet? I mean, yeah. As I've already told you, I am a friend of the crusade. You can choose to trust me or you can leave. I offer help and ask for nothing in return. So the question is simple. Will you accept a claw of friendship from a stranger? Or is your distrust stronger than you need? That you need for help. I mean, I seem to be like the only one that's actually in favour of this guy. But, do you know what? Yeah, why not? Thank you, we would appreciate any help. Kind of nods agreeably. Then we have a deal. You won't regret your decision, just drop by my camp every now and then so we can have a word. Perhaps I'll be able to give you some useful tips. Pulling out a small knife, the traveller carefully cuts off two strips of meat from the roasted hair. He throws one into his toothy maw while graciously offering the other to you. A strange animal for sure, but it seems edible. The energies of the whirlwind mask everything in an illusion. 
Harmless looking animals tried to eat you for dinner. That would explain why the deers were having such issue with us before. Dangerous paths appear to be straight roads, and your enemies, some days your enemies can look like your friends. Kronach squints and looks deeply into your eyes. Have you ever been in a situation like this? First you think a person is your friend and ally, but then the scales fall from your eyes and you realise they're actually your sworn enemy. So you catch this person, you tie them up, and you need to start thinking. How should you treat them now? Like your enemy? Like your former friend? It's hard to decide. What would you do if one of your friends turned out to be a traitor? In a war situation? Mm, that's a bit rough, isn't it? Traitor how? Like a traitor to the campaign? A traitor to me personally? Like what's the specifics we're looking at here? Because like if it was a traitor against the campaign, it'd be more like ideological. But if it was against me personally, then I would I would legit take that personally and I, I don't know what the outcome would be in this situation. Uh, I'd try to find out what would force the traitor to reveal the truth about their real masters and do whatever that is. Huh, okay. <laughs> I would torture the traitor for days and then and make them beg for mercy. <laughs> what else we got? Oh wait, no, here we go. That's what I was just saying a second ago. Are you talking about someone specific? Oh no, wait, I was saying talking about specifics. This is. He's like alluding to someone. Those who have lost their way must be saved. No, 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 no. Every traitor must be executed. There's no other way. Oof. Do you know what? I'm going to go chaotic in this instance. I try to find out what would force the traitor to reveal the truth about their real masters and do whatever that is. Yeah. The cobalt grins. What if you have to threaten them with the death of their family? Or what if you have to grant mercy to someone truly despicable? You don't have to answer. I can tell by your eyes that you're willing to do whatever it takes. I mean, here's the thing. You can threaten them with the death of the family. It doesn't mean you need to kill the family. <laughs> That's the fun thing about threats. In like an interrogatory situation. Like someone that's a traitor. You can say whatever the hell you want. Doesn't mean you're going to do anything negative. Like they're mind games. Just play mind games, you know? And that's correct. If you catch a villain, don't rush to put a noose around their neck. First learn everything they have to tell you. As for principles and morality, you better stuff them in your deepest pocket. And don't bandy them about with a good reason. I like your answer. You obviously think with your head and don't just parrot the instructions of others. Then again, if we're discussing traitors, it's fortunate that betrayal is not reserved for mortals alone. Demons stab each other in the back far more frequently. Well, yeah, they're demons. <laughs> the rumour is that there are at least two demon stashes within Dresden. Brought with arms and supplies that were stolen by Dis Discarites from Bathmites and vice versa. One of them is near the entrance to the fortress, while another lies by the entrance to the citadel. Ooh, that's handy information, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Well, that is valuable information. Of course it is, I wouldn't waste your time. Kraken's knuckles come up gives you an impressive look. I hope that when the time comes for you to make real decisions instead of hypothetical ones, the wisdom won't fail you. Just one bad choice can turn a revealed leader into a disgraced pariah. I've seen it happen before. I've lived through something like that. My tribe suffered a disaster caused by just one bad choice. Can you even imagine? Actually, I can. Because I've read Warhammer lore. <laughs> and the amount of bad choices in that, you would not believe. The cover squints sadly, his shoulders slumping a bit. With a sigh, he begins to talk. If you don't like telling this story, uh, I don't like telling this story, but it may be useful for you to know. Perhaps it will serve as a warning? This guy has a lot to say, my god. What do you tell me? Krennic clears his throat and starts talking in a sonorous voice that reveals his experience as a bard. I was, I was born in the mighty and proud tribe of the Nighty. The Nighty. The Night Ruby. Our caves were vast, our main shafts were rich in quartz and metals. And our underground lakes were brimming with fish. And of course, we had plenty of slaves. <laughs> of course, you did. The Night Ruby was a model of cobalt success. It was a technic, greedy, and aggressive tribe that intimidated even a few of the nearby human settlements. There was a flaw underlying their power. Once long ago, as a leader of our tribe signed a pact with devils, promising them to solve every tribe member in exchange for help and prosperity. Well, that was dumb, wasn't it? Since then, every new and all, all watcher had to agree to the pact. The power of the tribe grew as did the number of lost souls. It was like that until our leader, Arm Armak, came to power. She was principled and proud elder who didn't want to bend the knee to hell, 
She also refused to sign the pact and all kinds of calamities befell her tribe, as it would. Because the blessing would immediately turn into a curse and then everything would just collapse under your ass. The tribe was attacked by its neighbours at the devil's instigation. Epidemics broke out, then our slaves rebelled. They came after their former masters in the dead of night. Our clutches of eggs were ravished, our altars were desecrated, and our warriors were slain in their burrows. The slaves paid us in full for our cruelty and arrogance. They hunted us, chasing us down through the caves and mine shafts, level by level. When we were finally left alone, we had no idea where we were. All we saw around us was darkness, and lurking in that darkness was bloodthirsty and dangerous predators. After raising his voice dramatically, Krenok suddenly stops. He adds with a teasing smell. I think this moment is enough of a cliffhanger to stop you. I mean, you're not wrong. I've got suspicions about you. Nah, 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 nah. There's a lot of questions, my god. I have a question about demons. You mentioned you know a lot about them. My humble knowledge is at your disposal. What is the demon's main weakness besides like holy magic and stuff? Oh, wait, you need to know their name. That's that's what it is, isn't it? You need to know the demon's true name and you can have like full power over them and stuff. It's the fact that they're hostages to their own nature and by their nature demons are just a bunch of mad apes. Grotesque parody of ordinary chaos. You don't need to make a bunch of apes angry. You just give them one, uh, one of them a banana and arm the other with a stick. They'll kill each other without your direct intervention. But you know so much about demons, he's probably spent a lot of time with them. Krennic gives you a long and heavy look. I've had my experience with them. I don't want to go into the detail right now. All I'm saying is that after a sh rather short and not even hostile encounter with them, I stopped eating meat. Yeah, 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 you've already said this. Do you know anything about wounds inflicted by demons that first appear, then disappear, then later? Oh, yeah, what happened to us? Okay. Do I need to resort to platitudes such as the weirdest tricks can be expected from demons? Or can I just skip that part? I've never heard anything like you're describing, but new sorts of nasty stuff appears in the whirlwind every day. However, if we think about it some more, don't you think that this wound doesn't cause enough trouble to be something the demons did to you on purpose? When you're hit by the magic of the abyss, you know instantly that death is coming your way and fast. Okay, I think that's probably enough for now. Yeah, that's probably enough for now. Okay, so we've got someone we can go back to chat to. Cool. Don't know how useful that's going to be, but still. See if I can find anything else around here. Here we go. All right, I guess that's enough. I thought there'd be more to that camp, but I'm guessing he's gonna have like a lot more information later on. Out of curiosity, can I actually like send my party to fight like a demon army? <laughs> Just in case, I'm, I'm gonna do a quick save. Because this could go very, very badly. Oh, I don't actually fight them. Okay. You fail to sneak past the enemies, prepare to fight. That's fine. I guess sometimes it's better not to, to sneak past because you. Just gonna get more experience if you fight them. We won't fall here. I like your usual RPG stuff. Alright, buddy, I need you to like run right at these assholes and get them right in the face. Guess I'm done with spells for tonight. Okay, never mind. Can I run at this one? Apparently I can. So do it then. Jesus Christ, look at him at spells that she's got. Oh yeah, she needs to sleep first, doesn't she? Yeah, we need to rest so she can actually use these spells. Forgot about that.
To tell you the truth, I kind of want to automate her. I don't want to have to deal with this shit. Giant surrounds itself by spirit of battle. Da, 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 da. Ah, screw it. Just run and stab her. The spirits demand your blood. And wind dog, just take him out. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, she just wrecked his shit. Actually, so strong. I can handle it. I'm getting overconfident now. I'm thinking, see if we actually run into an army's force, we might actually be able to just take it with our party members. Though I don't think the game will let us fight it. To be fair. Okay, I can't do that because of what? Okay. Let's check out Heaven's Edge. What do you mean social is encumbered? Alright, let's rest. Jesus. Plus eight camouflage, alright. Alchemy. Why the hell is she doing the protective rites? Or rituals? You did alchemy. Why can you not craft any potions? Oh, we don't have an alchemist kit. That would explain it. Okay. Scrolls. Okay. I think we're mostly fine here. Yeah, let's begin resting. I had never seen so much fire before I came to Cannabis. The smell of smoke seems to follow me everywhere now. But I cannot say that I find the smell unpleasant. She's such an edgelord. You could bathe, perhaps. That may help. <laughs> Do you know what? It actually does make sense why... Why our characters get tired there? I just wasted so much time just now. Are you actually telling me they're encumbered already? No freaking way. Well, she is. Why the hell are you encumbered? She shouldn't be encumbered, what the fuck? Ah, oh, whatever. Ooh. My not so numerous, but nonetheless dearest guests. About a year ago at my last birthday party, I assured you all that I nurtured a deep-seated hatred for boring people who give protracted speeches in the misplaced belief that their inner thoughts are of any interest to anyone but themselves. Except here you are. Now I am a whole year older and also a full-fledged crusader. An honorable position that requires me to be as dull, pedantic, and vexing as I possibly can. Therefore, a speech it is. The revered cleric Nestrin, my guardian and tutor, often told me that those who live a sinful life may expect to join the abyssal hordes after they die. This is why their path is the most despicable of all. A part of their soul may return to Mendev in the abominable form of a demonic invader. Every time we see a demon, we might as well think about it. Why did I get experience? What if this wretched creature used to be your great great grandfather? 
What if certain parts of this pointy-tailed beauty used to belong to your pious cousin? They say that the demons represent the sins of the souls they are made of. Succubi emerge out of lustful souls. Vandals turn into Abracandilu. Gluttons become Nabasu. I, for one, am determined to commit as many different sins as possible, so that the distributive mechanism of the Abyss breaks when it tries to decide what to do with my soul. Well, that's interesting. But you're kind of failing to realize that it will probably select the attribute that's most that's most embodies you. Which is probably going to be pride. Let's be honest. You, my dearest guests, will be my assistants in this complicated task. Eat, drink, and indulge yourselves in whatever vices you can. Let nobody leave this house as righteous as they entered it. Live every day like it's your last. After all, nobody knows when that day will arrive, do they? I mean, true. Hey, buddy. How interesting. Inquisitor Leota whispers in your ear from behind. Do you find anything interesting? Nothing really, I just took note of a few things. I tended to find out whether anything unusual or mysterious had happened to the Count over the last 10 years. Do you have a conversation with his acquaintances? Do people know that he never speaks of the revered Nestrin, the priest of Imodai who was his guardian and tutor? Yeah, you just mentioned Nestrin in his speech. What that might mean? You told me that you tried to find out anything odd had happened to Darren over the last 10 years. Some of his servants complained about a strange occurrence in this house. Like objects moving by themselves or candles going out. Of course it would simply be a figment of their imagination. It is also very known that the Count often invites various spellcasters to entertain him. And encourages them to use their magic in mischievous ways. Practically the whole Mended knows the story about the three drunk wizards in a teleportation race across the roofs of Canabras after party at the Count's house. What I'm trying to say here is that any fluctuations in residential uh, residual magic as is are not at all surprising. It was a matter of the abduction, however. A gang of bandits kidnapped the Count hoping- Yeah, we've heard this one. <laughs> but the only reward they got was death. Afterwards, the Count told everyone that he had hired the bandits himself as a joke. The other mercenary squad that freed him and executed the bandits was also in his employ. That makes me wonder, do you think he actually just lied? And he didn't put up the people to kidnap him? Do you think he's like just putting him in like a show bravado? Maybe. Nobody really wants to delve too deep into this case after confirming the identities of those wretched cutthroats. There is one disturbing fact about it all, and I don't mind the Count's bizarre idea of fun. Versaries who supposedly freed him had also cut off the bandits' heads after they had already killed them. Huh. The bandits were, their heads were cut off, you mean the bandits who attacked Darren? Yes, perhaps I wouldn't have even noticed this detail had I not visited Heaven's Edge right after the tragic incident. Remember that we also found several headless bodies, both of guests and demons. We thought that you'd been decapitated during the fight. Now, companions have been found severed heads amongst the- Ooh, yes! I remember this. Stranger things- Things like this weren't a problem before Darren joined the party. Do you know what? I wasn't even paying attention to that. What? This is an alarming coincidence. Now we have another reason to conduct an investigation. It's crucial that we find out exactly what- and what exactly happened at that tragic feast? What do we, uh, what do we need to do, Inquisitor? Now that's the hardest part. I need to dive deep into the past of this place, which requires casting several different spells over some time. It'd be very convenient for me if nobody interrupted the process, especially the Count himself. I don't think he remembers my face, but a suspicious stranger casting unknown spells may attract his attention. All in all, what I want you to do is distract the master of the house. Right now he's playing host in the very place I'd like to start with. So how did I distract him? I don't know, maybe your companions can assist you somehow? Or you can take a look around, perhaps there's something that can help us. Good luck, come back when the Count leaves. I'll tell you everything I managed to find out and maybe even show you something. Hmm. This could be interesting. Hey Socio. Imagine how loved this man I must have been before the war and you have to see it. Uh, set up my easel in one of the pleasant little alcoves and paint to my heart's content. <laughs> Fair enough, buddy. 
Oh, oh, there's a box. Give me this stuff, thank you. Come on, get me around here. Hey, Sela. You never know when or if you'll get another chance to rest and have some fun during war time. I'd rather take my chance while I can. I mean, that's fair. Darren, who has been watching the guest with an unreadable expression, turns his head to you and says in a casual tone, like he's continuing a conversation that was interrupted. I've always considered myself an aesthetic, not a hero. When Doomsday comes, I thought I'd pour myself a glass of 100 year old wine, sit in the front row, and just watch the world burn. Playing the violin was also an option. Now, I'll be damned if I know how, uh, how I ended up in the Fifth Crusade. How did I become the companion of a hero chosen by Ingmadai? It was our destiny to end up together. Darren snorts and his eyes for a moment. Oh, do go on. Do you remember that you're still my field attaché and uh, playing a potentiary? I am something count. I demand a report of all your work so far in half an hour. Nah. So why did you? So why did you decide? I uh, really decided to throw a party at the scene of such a tragedy. What's this ghoulish fuss all about? Tell me more about Heaven's Edge. This estate was once a truly beautiful sight, with its lush gardens and placid ponds. Darren smiles briefly, it is a genuine smile, it's quite different from his usual half smirk. The house itself is not that large, however, this land was part of the border region even before the whirlwind, so my ancestors took that into account when laying the foundations. The larger the mansion, the harder it is to defend. I think there's a fire suppression system to distract the count. I gladly give you a tour, but I'm afraid there's not there's not much to see here. I didn't have much time, so my servants only managed to clean up this yard, the great hall, in a couple of rooms. There's nothing interesting about them, except perhaps the magical firefighting system powered by water elementals. I'm not sure it's still functional though. So why did you really decide to throw a party at the scene of such a tragedy? Darren freezes. What an odd feeling. It's like I had been lying under the sun in a spectacular meadow in full bloom, and you barge in to pour a bucket of ice cold water all over me. Is this how you treat people who invite you to the celebration? No, you don't have to answer. I could come up with the polite excuse, but I'd rather match your cutty smiles and put it bluntly. I didn't wish to continue this conversation. Thank you for ruining my mood, I shall return. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. That was a mistake. Okay, so I just need to make sure I'm not blunt with them. I didn't even think that was blunt. I thought they would have seen that as a joke. It's so much quicker when you skip dialogue, isn't it? Right, let's try this again. The fire suppression system to distract the count. There's nothing interesting about them except maybe perhaps the magical fire system. Power by water elementals. I'm not sure I'm still functional though. I'm going for a stroll. It's easier chance to have fun. Almost anything could be forgiven. The boredom this is a crime against life itself. Alright, so firefighting system. How do I go about activating that? I wonder. Probably just setting fires, I'm guessing. Oh, there we go. Set a booze on fire. Jug and Wayne, if you screw it, they may distract the count for a while. There we 
we go. Oh, there they are. Stupid elemental. Go back where you came from. I'm the owner of this estate and you will obey me. Those are giant water elementals. Holy shit. Oh, well, now I'm soaked to the bone. Give me a moment to change my clothes and don't forget to miss me while I'm gone. At least the water suppression system works. I don't want to ruin his party, but we need to find out what's going on. I see that you did your part, Commander. Thank you. Now get ready to watch and listen closely. I will unravel the past this place and try to show you whatever I find. The hum of voices, laughter and music fills your mind. Then the vision comes fragmented and hazy at first, before eventually coalescing to reveal a single face. As a woman is stunned like heavenly beauty, her delicate features instantly tell you who she is. The family resemblance to Darren is obvious. My dear guests, the Lady of Heaven's Edge welcomes all of you today. I hope this day is as bright for you as it is for me, because on this day my only precious, sometimes arrogant but utterly beloved child was born. The child is usually a reflection of the parents and caretakers. Countess, will you allow the humble tutor of this young man to address the guests in the manner they are as well? A new face appears. It is a handsome old man with a strong dignified posture and a voice that emanates power. Can't we have just one day without the, your sermons? It's my birthday after all. Ten years ago, the young Darren had an utterly angelic appearance. His table manners and expression lack the dignity of a true angel, however. Day. I'm sure the revered Nestron only wanted to hug you and offer you his best wishes on your birthday. Wait, what? What's that noise? Huh. The shrill laughter rings in your ears and reverberates in the base of your skull. The vision that a lover to appears before the guests of the estate and gives them an exaggerated scornful bow. The sorceress of evil has come to your celebrations, mortals. Do you prefer a treat from me too? What do you want, Spawn of the Abyss? I've already done everything I wanted to. Hey, you doddering cleric, look around. Don't you notice anything odd? The plague is in your wine, in your food, in the air around you, in your blood. Soon you will all die. Pray to your pathetic goddess and call upon your healing powers all you want. But they're not going to help you. Nothing will help you. I will give you a chance to see it for yourselves. And when I return, the grave realization will have already sunk its teeth into your throats. Oh, how I love watching mortals in their final desperate hours. The demon finishes her speech with an air kiss to Darren, making him freeze in horror and disappear. Ah. Leotel shakes his head and slowly exhales, rubbing his temples. The first appearance of the disease in the Lilith, too. One of the many sisters of the curse is Minagil. So far, everything I've seen matches the official version of events. Surely the cleric could have done something? I can't say for certain, but I believe there was nothing he could have done. Magical disease is already difficult enough to cure, and this plague struck very fast indeed. There must find out what happened next. Who were the people on the vision? Countess Selene Erendai was Darren's mother, and one of the most beautiful women in the history of Mendev. She was an ace just like her son. The old man is the esteemed cleric Nestrin, a current guardian and tutor. He was well known for his old faltering faith and iron will. I was only passing acquaintances with him. So I can't tell you anything more than that. I didn't recognise the others, but Darren told me that the first victims of the disease were his second cousin and a cousin's wife, hailing from the eastern border. What now? I can sense the aftershocks of a very strong outburst of emotions and memories somewhere in the west wing of the house. Something must have happened in one of the rooms, so please check if anyone is in there and distract them if needed. Okay. <laughs> I guess Darren, oh, of course Darren's in the room. The quick save. Just take all the alcohol. Hey, Nenio. Huh, I don't think Rigel would be here. Don't think I underestimate the importance of quality rest for soldiers. This reverie isn't rest, it's decadence. Yeah, I think that's kind of the point, buddy. 
That's one good den. The Golden Boy's ancestors must have been powerful, given that the kin is still prosperous. Apparently so. Alright, so the West Wing should be over there, so I'm going to check the East Wing first and foremost. Come on. The door is sealed and looks like it hasn't been opened in a very long time. Oh, so this estate has been abandoned. It just happens to be celebrating here of all places. Here we go. This is curious. Right, where is he? I'm, gu I'm guessing he's going to get cleaned up right now. Oh, here we'll we'll drift. I can handle it. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal everything. Hey, Darren, hey, yeah, buddy. They're not just about you, but he doesn't seem to be disturbed in the slightest by entrance. He's not trying to cover up or get dressed any faster. Commander, I assume that you have an urgent matter that requires my attention. Haha, <laughs> here we go. I'm absolutely confident you wouldn't be able to per uh, persuade Camellia to dance with you. Ah, now that is a challenge. I can imagine her, I like, graciously acquaint acquiescing or definitely slipping deadly poison into my wine just for suggesting it. Such as our dearest Camellia. Oh yes, she is quite something. You've given me a brilliant idea. That should be fun. I see that you're able to do as I asked. Prepare yourself. This vision might be rather difficult to watch. Ah, what's this going to be? Young Darren stands motionless by the count Countess's body, a uh, bed. His face is pale with fear and for good reason. <clears throat> His mother's heavenly beauty is gone. Her smile once beaming, I need water. Two seconds. There's so much reading in this stream compared to the last time I played it. Ah, so much reading. I guess it makes sense. We get one stream where it's mostly combat and we get one stream where it's mostly reading. A smile once beaming with vitality and happiness looks more like the grimace of a corpse. Only her golden hair still glows, a sad reminder of the healthy young woman she was just a few hours ago. Mother, can you hear me? Mother? D my boy, how did you get here? The Kenzie's voice is fading. Don't come any closer, I... this disease... Mother, listen, the revered Nestron has sealed the gates. He says that we, he won't let anyone leave the estate. If the plague reaches the, the larger settlements, nobody will be able to stop it. He claims this is why the demons attacked us in the first place. They knew that we would call upon the strongest clerics to heal us, and those clerics would catch the disease and die as well. The fat baron and his family tried to escape, but three armed paladins barred their way and said they would not let them go. Mother, we need help. Canberra is full of clerics, wizards and demons. Know who else? They might know how to stop it. We need to get there as soon as possible. We must obey the revealed Nestron. We are the laws of Mendev, and we must protect our people. If the plague, if it reaches Canberra's, thousands of innocent people will die. I don't care about any innocents. Dylan's voice rises, it rises to a shout. You're El Muller, you, you, you're you dying. You must tell them to open the gates and take you to Canberra's. They won't listen to me, but you are the lady of the estate. They can't refuse you. I, I can't, I must. Please leave, my dearest. Don't lose hope, you can still... A convulsion overtakes the Countess's body. Her last words are swallowed by a long guttural groan. Ugh, that is rough. 
Lighter weirdly rubs his temples, but his face is unreadable. I now have an answer to one of my many questions. Nobody went to Canberra in search of help because they revealed Nestor didn't let them. If Ow, yes, thank you for the bonk. How's it going, buddy? Thank you for Bob Ben. I'll be on a super, super good day. I uh, vowed the safety of the city more than the lives of his flock at the estate. What noble choice it must have been. Oh, wait, two, two things. Two things. He <laughs> uh, made the right choice, there was no other way. I'm almost certain that the Count Darren has another opinion in this matter, a very, very strong one. Latter rubs his chin thoughtfully. I have never been in a real Nestrian's position, but I know the price of difficult decisions, especially those that you have to make quickly. I have no right to judge him, but we must continue our investigation. The next site I'd like to examine is in the Great Hall. That is where we found the remains of Nestrian and the demons. I assume that he killed them in a confrontation, but we must make sure of that. Please help me clear the, the area so that I can study it. Wait, what? I have a bad feeling where this is going. Ooh, brace on us. Have I got everything here? I think I must have got everything. Alright, let's go find Darren. Oh, I imagine that you're an astronomic dancer, Lady Camellia. And I can't read the rest. Hey, Darren! There's a fierce gleam to Darren's eyes. I want to add a tip tipsiness or some overabundance of emotion. Oh there Nemra. Camellia's frosty attitude breaks my heart. But that dance with her, uh, with her was easily one of my best moments of the evening. How are you enjoying the party? Are you having a good time? <laughs> How about you Darren? Are you having fun? Of course I'm having fun, Darren says defiantly. What's wrong? Do you want me to spend my whole life in fear and mourning blaming myself for what happened? Ooh. Finally, let's change the subject. I thought the unique ambience of Heaven's Edge and the fact that we're on the very border of the whirlwind would make this celebration special. I thought this, the past would be uh, would resurface and make itself known down to spots bitterly. But it seems even ghosts don't wish to attend my parties anymore. What can we do to liven up the evening? Um, Realise that I don't have a report on your career plans for that. Nah, nah, nah. The more observe you, the it becomes that you're hiding something. No. You know what I think? I think it's time for a drinking contest! Ah yes, the tried and trusted method for salvaging a dull party. For salvaging anything actually, I'm ready. But who's my competition? Oh, oh. me of course. What's this? The commander himself? The hero canvas? The chosen one is challenging me to a drink contest? I'm in. Well, does he know? I'm gonna win. Because I am, my character's undead. So I doubt I can get drunk. <laughs> Let's drink, in, drink until one of us falls unconscious or begs for mercy. That sounds like a plan, let's go! <laughs> that was just a little warm up, I see. Up for more? Let's continue! I am kicking ass. Come on, take a drink. Take a drink. Whoa, are we done here? Are you ready for another red? Let's continue! Oh, I'm hitting fortitude saves! Awesome! Ah, god, my fortitude is way too good compared to his. My grandfather, or maybe my great great grandmother, put this bottle in the family cellar. So, why did it fail the scion of the altruist Arandes in his time of need? Darren looks a bit unsteady on his feet. I don't feel very well. Hey, everyone, let's go back outside. I need to get some fresh air in my, in my lungs. 
Gotta love that pathing. I absolutely kick butt in that drinking contest. Here we are again, Commander. The other looks grim but focused. So let's take another glimpse into the past. Alright, let's see what happens here. Is this going to be the last one? See, for a guy in armor, he's done a really good job of sneaking around. Ooh. A ripple of laughter flows through the hall. It begins a sweet, charming chuckle, but then turns into a rasping cackle that makes Darren huddle even deeper into his corner. There he is over there. Why are you running from me, my sweet prince? Come on, let me touch you. I'll give you. The booming voice of an old man dressed in the Imadai's robes shakes the walls of the hall. Get away from him, demon. Let the boy go. By the blade of the inheritor, you touch him only over my dead body. Very pathetic, old cleric. Are you the guardian of this charming little prince? Well, you guarded him in vain. The disease is already circulating in his blood, and soon he will rot before your very eyes. You won't be able to help him. And I... I can at least make sure his death is beautiful, clean, and sweet. The demoness turns her eyeless face to Darren and licks her lips. A coarse laugh escapes the young man's throat. We'll see about that. Where's this gonna go? The utter turns towards you in astonishment, droplets of sweat glistening in his temple. Something is wrong, Commander. My spells are not working as expected. As if some kind of supernatural explosion occurred here ten years ago, blending everything together. Magical auras, the emotions, the memories, or try get try again to read it. Uh, please continue. J just give me a moment to focus. I'll try to channel my visions and feelings to you as accurately as possible. Am I gonna have to end up fighting these guys? Like the memories? Darren, my boy, what's going on? The other's muscular shoulders suddenly begin to quake, shake. The vision he's channeling does not change. You feel something enormous and chilling silently infiltrate the reality around you. The presence of this nameless being becomes almost palpable. Some alien entity is talking to him. Hurry, old cleric, stop him right now. Do you really want to see what happens when... Save me? Can you save me? The presence thickens into something more tangible. The entity is silent but you feel your blood pulsing in your temples. And each beat breaks, uh, brings a new image, or rather a new notion. Help. Brings a feeling of relief and safety. Exchange makes the post stronger, more demanding. Gate and secret come immediately after. The images become heavier, almost visible. Secret, keep a secret. Otherwise, death, 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 death. The gruesome images whirl through your mind, filling it with pain and fear. And then it all starts again. Help, exchange, secret, death. Nestor stretches out his shaking hand suddenly looking like a doddering old man instead of a mighty cleric imbued with holy power. Darren, wait! The thing you're about to let loose is even worse than those, these demons. Darren's body is quivering like a taut bowstring. His eyes dart from the cleric to the demoness, who's frantically casting protective spells. Demon saints, I'm so fed up with all you. Burn! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So he... Oh. You okay there, buddy? So he summoned something to just completely, because he hated both of them. He hated the demoness and he hated, was it Nestro? Whatever his name was. The author opens his eyes with a groan and then gets back on his feet. His legs are wobbly, his eyebrows are cut, his eyebrows cut, but he seems not to notice. Sincere sorrow is written in his face as well as a strong hint of horror. What a misfortune. No, what a disaster. Everything's far worse than I imagined. Do you understand now what happened 10 years ago? The Inquisitor slowly exhales through clenched teeth and says in a low voice, still massaging his temples. Yes and no. Damn it, my thoughts are astray. I've tried to explain everything to you in full detail. Many living things are capable of performing the most extraordinary feats, good or bad. When a deadly threat looms over them. 10 years ago, the young Count found himself cornered at every sense of the word. And he allowed some alien entity to intercede for him. It frightens me that all my experience as an Inquisitor is completely useless in this case. It does not resemble anything I've ever heard or read about. This entity. I think I will call it the Other. But this is uncanny power. It was capable of instantly killing three greater demons, a mighty cleric and a host of other mortals. 
you sort everything yourself. Or even worse is that this entity, this other, is still here. The author takes a long pause. His gaze is drawn to the chamber where all the guests are laughing and dancing. Darren's eloquent voice rises above the music for a moment. He's asking someone to bring more wine and add more logs to the fire. I don't know what exactly this creature is, but I know what it did to the Count. It turned him into a living gateway. The other is not inside the Count's body. It's not directly controlling his mind. That's why there's no obvious signs of possession, but it is looking through his eyes. It treats him like a window into our world, and it can instantly step through it to wreak whatever havoc it desires. <sighs> does Darren know anything about all this? Yes, of course he does. Did you hear what the other tried to convey to us? Help in exchange for a secret. Death. Death to those who know the truth. It wants to have an opportunity to use the count as a gateway without anyone knowing. This is what made Darren deny that he remembered anything about the conclusion of the events at Heaven's Edge. So he literally can't reveal it or he, the contract is broken. Could the other be the reason why my comrades kept finding severed heads among their belongings back in Canaveras? It seems very likely. I'm almost certain you're right. People tend to lose their heads when they get too close to Count Arendai. Anyway, ha. Huh. I do apologise, that was inappropriate. Perhaps your gruesome findings are the heads of some cultists who tried to kidnap the Count during the Canberra slaughter? Or perhaps they provoked the other in some other way? What might the other want? This is the strangest thing about it all. It came to this world 10 years ago and it's still here, right? All this time it's been watching us through the eyes of the Count. Had it, for instance, wanted to kill Her Majesty the Queen, it would have had plenty of opportunities to do so. The Count can get closer to, his, to practically every influential figure in Mendev, but the other refuses to act. Or his interest lie in some other sphere. Did Ella kill everyone? Everyone then? The disease was not to blame? Not everyone, just Nestor and his paladins and the few remaining guests. Damn it, I know that it was the work of a mysterious omnipotent entity, but it still stings. I was here 10 years ago and I didn't check everyone personally. And those who did failed to sense that something was wrong. Uh, yeah, we have to do something. Yes, now I understand Father Nestron perfectly. I must make a crucial decision despite a death of information. The Inquisitor falls silent for, for a while, then he looks at you right in the eye. Commander, first and foremost I must apologise to you. Second, I must ask you to keep this secret. Why are you so what are you sorry for? I apologise for dragging you into this mess, you see. The other an entity of immense power, stating very clearly that it would kill anyone who found out the truth. Anyone who knows that the Count is actually its living gateway, I suppose this secret is currently known to three people in Golarian, you, me, and Count Darren. And that means, oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? The author gives you a crooked smirk and shrugs. Yeah, we're going to get targeted. Why should I keep it a secret? As soon as the Count finds out that we know his secret, the other will understand it as well. We do not know where it is and what exactly is the scope of its power, but we do know that it would dispose of anyone who might reveal its existence. I made the decision, the author says gravely. I will not tell anyone about the discovery we've just made. Not even the Queen or my superiors. Yeah, that is really risky. <laughs> He's basically bringing the chance of death onto anyone he tells. Instead, I will immediately go to Nerosian and sift through all the archives of the Inquisition in order to find out what exactly we're dealing with and how it can possibly be defeated. I may also make some cautious inquiries in other places, including Absalom. Stella will not reveal the truth until I've found at least some reliable information. I'm asking you to do the same, specifically do not say a single word about our investigation to the Count himself. What are you going to do with Darren himself? At the very least he is guilty of letting the other- nah 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 nah. He was in a desperate situation, who cares? So why don't we to lead the crusade while carrying a bomb that may explode at any moment? I'm afraid that you won't be able to hide from the consequences where this bomb goes ex explode. It's up to you to decide though. Fine, I will keep it a secret. The author lets out a sigh of relief. You've made the right choice. It's too much of a risk at this point in time. We're too early into the crusade to let anything like this kick off. I recommend that you go back to the guests and spend the rest of the evening as you please. Anything else might raise suspicions. I must leave immediately in search of the knowledge we all need so desperately. Farewell, Commander. May the light of Emodai guide your path. And the otter Hawkblade will try to keep your path to triumph clear of any unwanted guess. 
he's a nice guy. I'll give him that. He didn't like jump in like the idea of, oh, I'm just going to kill the Count to solve this problem, which I'm betting if that kicked off and he went to kill the Count, I bet the Count would just like immediately just take him out. Well, not the Count. Whatever the hell the thing is that's watching through, through him. Don't know if my opinion matters to you at all, but if you're the very best guest, uh, but you were the very best guest I could ever wish for, I'm glad you enjoyed your time, buddy. Oh, let's see what anyone else has to say. I'd like to party, it's pity it's already come to an end. <laughs> I mean, she actually enjoyed something. Is Wendog floating? Yeah, Wendog is floating. Wasn't. Well, oh, this celebration. Someday I will live like this too. I'll just have it. I'll have just as much food and money, or even more. Hmm. That's good. Everyone had a good time. Did Rachel have a life good time? Oh, was Travis, uh, Travis day is finally over. <laughs> Can't make the demons wait. And anyway, how did you find it? It's a common opinion that any party like this one must inevitably end with a fight. I mean, that is a common occurrence with parties, yeah. If you're trying to encourage me to check this hypothesis personally, then I'd rather observe from afar. Which is fair. Okay, let's go. That's yeah, probably enough. Mathor is actually dying right now. And we're only like... Close to three hours in. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Can we? When can we? Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess. I'm guessing how it works is like if. If the army like shows an icon where it's green, it means we actually have a good chance of beating it. I think they lost relic of the crusaders. Oh. Oh, the morale was high. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, let's go fight some demons. Which, unfortunately, I can't do right now, but whatever. I want to go to this underground hideout, but annoyingly, I can't actually get there. Past this location's hidden. Yeah. Ah, that's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna skip a day. Still can't recruit anyone yet. Alright, Monsieur Army, let's go. And we're not gonna automate it because we made that mistake last time. The fuck is this? Oh, it's just a bunch of demons, okay. Can't actually do fire damage to these assholes. Shit. That's interesting, okay. And then we go. Let's try to even these odds as best we can here. I actually love how he's in the art, it's so handy. Oh, did you get one shot? Oh, hell yes. Alright, I need them to go, like, right now. There. 
That way we can route round and deal with these guys. Oh, you son of a bitch, you, you flanked, oh, you absolute asshole. Plus one to saving throws and AC. Ah, why not? Guys, can you do me a favor and stop hitting my archers? That'd be very much appreciated. Stop hitting my archers, you assholes! Come on! Bullshit. went quite well. I think we got like most of our guys back that died as well. Actually, I think we got, yeah, we got everyone back. Hell yes. I'm going to quick save that. That was an amazing victory. No wonder morale was high. After battle, one of the soldiers noticed a half effaced description on a nearby stone. What remained of that engraving led the crusaders to a secluded cave well, they found a stash of miscellaneous relics that some selflessly devoted clerics had managed to rescue from the fallen dresden. They also discovered flasks of sanctified oil and boxes of regents for rituals and sacred masses. It appeared the brave priests had had their uh, sacred artifacts in one final attempt to save them from demonic threat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, she's, she's getting pretty close to level up again. As morale, morale is pretty high. Victory over a demon army adds four days to the the time the banner of victory stays green. Each victory over a demon army in the road to Dresden adds ten days to the time the banner of, of the March Dresden stays green. I would fight the level seven one right now, but I'm not that absolutely insane. Or am I? <laughs> no, it's probably really dumb, isn't it? Broken phylactery of Stevanius the Ron? Hmm. What does that do for me? Does it not tell me? Ah, oh, such a freaking shame. I wish I knew. Yeah, I don't fancy my chances. <laughs> as, as confident as I can possibly be, I do not see that happening. I just don't. Oh crap. These are fast enemies. Thankfully they're not that freaking strong though, thank god, okay. But there is a lot of them, that's the problem. Getting the freaking ranged. What is the stats effect? Infected. Permanent. What does it do though? 
Just attack apply disease to target that applies amazed to penalty to this staring <sighs> fuck's sake. That sucks. Hopefully we can get through this well enough. Empty replenishes an army's losses after battle by a number of value points equal to its size. Okay, there's just two left. He just he just landed on the belly. Come on, how did you, how did you not How did you not beat that? I oh, fuck off. And fire. Yes! <sighs> right, how, did we get everyone back? We got everyone back. Shit. Is this kid's morale is like so high? Like we're not losing anyone at all. Everyone has their own deep dark secrets and the commander has just involuntarily uncovered one of them. The commander has grasped the art of strategy and the soldiers under his command have secured their first strategic gains. After driving away a swarm of demonic flies, the Crusaders discover the remains of an unfortunate group of Mendivian knights. The leader has a, bald a baldric with an emblem recognised by one of the soldiers. It was the crest of the infamous fall knight, Marmander Lins. Okay, but what does it, what does it do? Marmander Lins was one of the most notable and controversial figures of the Third Crusade. The debate still rages whether his valiant feats of strength and his Wellness to make sacrifice the name of the crusade, balance out the unholy crime that was exposed after ex the purge by the Inquisition. It's revealed that Melinda Lins had been practicing the forbidden dark arts of magic, turned this no knowledge against the demons. Shortly after the discovery, Lins decided to let the debate about his dubious methods rage on without him, and secretly left Cannabis in the dead of night, alongside a group of like minded deserters. Thereafter, they waged their own war against demons, tracking down and destroying small and enemy groups, but ultimately all the members of Malanda Lin's squad fell in battle. Scouts discovered evidence that with each passing year Lin's had been descending even deeper into his private abyss of the Dark Arts. He would have sacrificed everything for victory, but the question still remains whether he was a hero or a traitor. Hero? Like, straight up, like he was going to next level lengths just to make sure the demons were dealt with. Oh, choosing a bit. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we'd leveled up. Attack gains plus one bonus to attack and damage. This is power. Speed to target unit. This is defense spell to heal. Right. Do you know what? I'm going to take cure wounds. Next, the next route we're going to take is we're going to 
Oh wait, is that a fortress there? There's definitely a fortress there. I wonder why it's not letting us take that. Oh well. Yeah, we're going to take care of this one. We're not going to reach on time, but... Skip a day. I should probably recruit them, shouldn't I, Hell Knights? But I'm not going to. At least not for the minute. Fire the air elemental because yep. Go a nice one shot. And we'll have to take it fire one as quickly as possible because a fire spell from our spellcaster isn't gonna do much. There we go. Oh you just got an old tongue. Okay. Alright, so how effective would fire be against the war one? It's about the same as the Earth one. Nice. And now the only one that left is the rot one. Surprisingly, it seems to be quite lacking in martial prowess. too freaking easy. Like, why was that so easy? After pacifying the elementals, the soldiers found the remains of a cultist sorcerer in the middle of a broken summoning circle. Despite his apparently outstanding magical power, he was unable to control the raging spirits he had brought into existence. His stiff fingers were still clenching the horrendous flail he used as a weapon. Ooh. I mean, that'd be a good flail if it wasn't for the fact that it ranges from 1 to 10 damage, which is really crap. <laughs> and it's two-handed as well. It better be a good enhancement. This plus two heavy flow can be safely wielded only by non-good characters. Okay. Each time the wielder of this weapon lands a hit with it, the enemy has to pass a will saving throw. Or become affected with the equivalent of the dominant, uh, dominant person spell for one round. If a good character wields this weapon, they become permanently confused, even after they equip it. This effect can be removed by remove cost spell. Ah, uh, so it's cost to only work for people that are evil. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, as good as that sounds, the damage is just not there. It really isn't. I just, I like what we've got with the scythe. The scythe is very good. Whenever this plus two safe lands a hit and to enemy it deals an additional 1d3 negative energy damage. The target must pass reflex saving throw or suffer an additional one negative energy damage each round. Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize it did a dot. <laughs> I've been doing this this whole time and I didn't realize that safe had like a damage over time effect. Okay, we're actually running out of demon armies, like my god. I didn't expect us to be doing this well. So the next port call is up here. Which is gonna take a while. And I'm gonna do another save because yep. Right, so what is this? Is this a is this a five star demon army or is this a what is this? I guess we'll find out in a second. Ah, oh, this doesn't look too bad, famous last words, but whatever. So I would see how much damage that would do to like chip it down. Ooh, the go the goals are actually quite resilient.
Oof. You have hard. Holy shit. See if we can one hit kill this guy. Nope, but we brought him down. He's only got four, four guys left. Oh, buddy, you need to get stronger. You are, you you've got good defense, but that's all you've got. everyone back as well you just know this is because of like just really good morale that this is happening and the cultists protected their caravan of valuable supplies to death but the crusaders prevailed it seemed that the demon worshippers plunder the treasures from nearby sarkorian ruins there we go we get a bunch of oof we get 10,000 my god okay Five again. We're just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going and pale on through. Honestly, where 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 even is this demon army that's listed right here? Yeah, let's just let's just keep going. There's like a lot of demon armies up here, but I fancy our chances. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the fireball on this guy. I feel like our troops can take down this guy without even sh struggling in the slightest. Oh, except they're getting poisoned. Yeah. Oh, that's a problem. Poison seems to be a big thing with these guys. Why is she wanting to move? What the fuck? Is that because of the toxins? I don't, I don't think she can see right now. Oh, I hate this guy. Give him a quick heal. And it's over. <laughs> they were annoying. And we got our losses back. 
This army must be so freaking hype right now. Like every single conflict, we're just bulldozing it. The directories hitched to overload carriages that had no ch chance of escaping. The masters preferred death over giving up their cargo without fight. The wagons were full of treasures plundered in the chaos of battle for Kenebris. Awesome. I don't think we can recruit more freaking people. <laughs> Business. What the hell can I do with these? Ah, well, I could buy them if I wanted to. Not much, but I could buy them. Alright, now I'll save. And then I want to. I fight a steaming army. Material points. What's this one? Ooh, belt of giant strength. What does that do? Charro's husk and tusks. And it's only three targets. It's three big targets, but it's three targets. Magician's ring. Oh, there's some good droppings off of these ones. Oof. That one has a general. What does he give? Just material points. <sighs> what is my chance against these dragons, I wonder? Probably like no chance, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Wait, I have no more cast? What? I didn't realize she was out of cast. Chance of victory is here. Hopefully, it's pretty reasonable. Probably not. Seems like the archers might be the one that wins us this, if we do win it. Buddy, do you need to move to attack? Alright, it's down to two. As long as we can keep the archers alive, we can we can fight through this. Because our melee guys are just not enough here. If we had any spells we could cast, yeah, we could manage this, but we don't. I guess I would have to rest first to get them back. I'm just gonna heal him real quick. He's not that useful, but we need distractions so they don't 
like have all of them. Fighting our archers, you know. Like they've not even not one point off of him. This whole thing. There we go, there's one. Finally. Oh shit, this is what I was worried about. I don't think we can do this. The archers are just, what's it? Yeah, we can't do this. I'm just gonna load. Quick save. We might have a chance. See if we rest first. Might have a chance. Because we'll have fireballs. I could foresee us doing it then, but only then. So first and foremost, what we need to do is fight this demon army. But then again, I won't have any spells. Yeah, I won't have any spells. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna rest. Yep. And yep. skipping all day I know it seems unreasonable but what we really 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 freaking need those spell casting points I didn't realize I'd burned through so many of them wait what oh I thought there was a way to get into underground tide out there Buddy, give me all your guys, please. Thank you. Alright, so we can't kind of get 15. And that might be enough to swing it for us. I mean, it's no move point. Son of a bitch. Round two. Oh my god, that was freaking amazing. Yeah, we can do this. Oh fuck yes. Oh, we can do this already. We can super, super do this. And it helps that our army's even bigger than it was before. Uh. This one needs to go bye-bye ASAP. He is the main danger to the archers. Uh. If they can, if this one can go, we don't have to worry about the archers anymore. At least as long as this one doesn't get too close. Take down this last one, thank you. Yeah, we can super super do this. Come on guys. Believe in you. Yes! And there goes the giant, we got all of our units back. And that was a level 6 army.
The scarce possessions of the wild giants may still prove useful to the crusaders. This time the soldiers found something truly interesting among the piles of rubbish, bones and primitive, primitive tools. A pair of impressive tusks wrapped in a scaled hide. Must have been some kind of relic for these monsters. What does it do though? A Gorau, an enormous reptilian beast, had once terrorised the riverside settlement of Sarkhorus with its devastating attacks. Locals called it Chill Roar for its thick ice covered hide, which no ice or lance could penetrate uh, could possibly penetrate. So I'm guessing how it works is if we get enough of these, it's gonna add it's gonna count towards how well we've done, I assume. Belt of giant stuff, I want that belt so bad for my guy. Hopefully it doesn't like stack at all or come in conflict. Okay, we'll now get strength of stuff 22. <gasps> oh, hell yes. It's like everyone has like the presiding stat and only I've, I was the one that was missing one. So now I've got it at 22 for the strength. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And now I think I might give her the one for the decks. Yeah, she needs more decks. Well, she already had a lot, but let's just give her even more. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then we're just going to do a full proper save. This is going really well. I didn't think we'd beat a level 6 army. Like, the game's even like, Oh shit, you beat a level 6 army? Oh fuck, the... The five army isn't as nearly bad as we thought it was anymore. How the hell did I get into these? That's what I don't get. Like, there's a demon army here and I can't seem to freaking touch it. I don't know why. Guys, level 3 army, let's go! If we can't beat this, that'll be a shock and a half. Ah, screw it, do you know what? Okay, I think we need to burn the swarm. Yep. The monsters are much bigger threat than anything else in this game. Damage or whatever. But it just hit him. Why do you need to move? Just hit him. Hit him! Is he like delirious or something? Yeah, he has shit. Oh well. For the love of God. Finally. Oh, she lived up. Oh, fuck yes. The Scar slaves fought fearlessly and relentlessly like insects swarming around the flame without any awareness of what they were doing. When the last of the demons had fallen in battle, the crusaders could finally take it in what exactly they had been fighting for. For many years these old salt mines had provided the local alchemists with their most valuable ingredients and now they would do so again.
Alright, that's as far as we can go, movement-wise. Alright, choose the ability. All units in the army have a plus three bonus to saving throws per level on this feat. All spellcasting units have a plus two bonus, so we don't have any spellcasting units. The general has a plus 15 bonus to energy per level on this feat. Do you know what? Yeah, guaranteed ability, nice, okay. Yeah, magic reserves, thank you. That's the main problem we've been having. Do another F5. Yeah, let's take on this four. Bunch of demons. I would say something really dumb right now, like, these don't look that bad, but I'm not even going to take that chance. Target unit ignores up to three points of damage reduction for three rounds. Ooh, okay. Alright, so yeah, we're going to... First off, we're going to just... Actually, yeah, these are pretty tough, actually. 11 to 27, 6 to 38. Yeah, we're going to do a chunk of damage to the zombies first off. Not enough, mind you, but still. Yeah, these are these are actually powerful foes, these. The problem with the flies is there's so freaking many of them, that's the issue. Five to... Yeah. We'll have the main soldiers just focus on the flies for now. Right, take on the girls. That's them done. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I don't even have to worry about damage wise from the flies just yet. And I mind that just killed 12 guys, but whatever. Just keep it focused, guys. Keep it focused. Then we'll burn the zombies. As bad as the flies are, I don't want to be dealing with the zombies. Just give him a quick heal. There we go. Yeah, the flies are starting to become a slight issue. Zombies coming down bit by bit. So zombies just, just two left. There there goes the flies. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, hit the zombies. Absolutely zero losses. I'm really glad I picked the, the spellcaster because apparently spellcaster is like the best general we can get for this game mode. This old Sarkorian graveyard was ravaged by a group of flesh-eating ghouls. They mangled the corpses or turned them into walking dead, but the valuable items buried in the graves proved to be of no interest to them. Magician's ring. This ring grants a wearer plus five competence bonus on all used magic device skill checks. Increases the save DC against all spells of the illusion school that were cast by five. Ooh. I 
think we know who's getting that ring. Because it suits her to a T. I've got so many like trinkets. I don't have no. I have no idea what I'm going to use them for. All right, where's this ring? There it is. Finally, she gets to get something. Curious to see if this was any better. It has been appear to be. I mean, the good thing is, it's, it reduces the amount of arcane failure, so maybe that wouldn't be the worst idea to give him that. Alright, so how strong is this finance points? 100. Alright, let's have a look. So we know... Like, how the hell do I get to that, though? Like, genuinely, how the fuck do I get to that? Oh, that's how I get... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that should have been obvious. Alright, so we know how to get to these now. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, right. So, how strong... Seven. <sighs> Oof. Oof, no wonder I never went out of my way to get them. I should probably try it though, shouldn't I? Like, legit. We're almost at Dresden. I could go there right now if I wanted to, probably. Alright, 18 steps. Could we reach where this is? Just do another quick save. And then... No, 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 no. I need you guys to get down here. Right now. I have no move. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go. We need this base taken care of. And the unfortunate thing is they have a commander, so this is going to be curious. Thank you, bye. Alright. Alright, this is a good start. I've got a bad feeling they're going to be casting a lot of spells. I don't want to have to deal with that shit. Yep. They just took out like half of my archers, didn't they? Fuck, okay. This is, this is freaking brutal. This is legit so freaking brutal. Actually, gonna lose at this rate. <laughs> I 
I don't think we can win this. If we win this, it's going to be by pure freaking luck. Fuck, I knew it. God damn it. So much I hate to say, yeah, we were going to reload the save for that. That was, that was ridiculous. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, fuck that. If the game thinks I'm accepting that, I'm not. I'm super not accepting that shit. Let's try that again. I'm going to skip a couple of days. This way we'll have enough fireballs to hopefully burn through as many as I can. Absolute bitch. Oh my god, I fucking hate that so much. Can you stop debuffing my fucking men? See the fact that they are able to do that, that's such fucking bullshit. They get two tons for the amount of tons we get. Which allows them to completely decimate my archers. They fucking know that they're aiming for my archers because they know they're the most effective. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? She's dead. Oh, this is a this is actually the worst army we've fought so far. Because they're just all spellcasters. back oh thank god i i didn't get these guys back though but we got our archers well most of our archers back can't say i'll complain about that crusaders took over the ruins of the sarkorian settlement and put to the sword all the demons defending it scouts have reported a sense of looking lair nearby i mean yeah they ain't wrong I kind of want to take on this one, but at the same time, I really don't. I don't fancy our chances at all. Hey, I'm going to do another save. It's like a proper full manual save. No, oh for fuck's sake, this is part of the reason why to save there. That was that was a mistake. Oh, 
know if we can manage this. I'll, I'll happily take it. To be honest, I do think this is like pr properly easily doable. But I just don't think we have the mana for it. Yeah, we don't have the mana for it. We'll lose that fight if we keep going. So we're not going to do it right now, we'll do it later once we have enough firebolts and shit. Firebox can turn like any battle, basically. How do I go down this way then? Like, I want to go left, but I don't think it's going to let me. How's it unknown? It's right freaking there. Underground hideout, okay. Feels weird to be back on feet again. We've been doing so much army combat that it just feels, feels so out of place doing this all of a sudden. Beautiful. Oh, let's just get our asses down here. Hello, Mister. Yep. Get ready for get ready for battle. Immediately dead. <laughs> Buddy. Have I pleased you? The body is covered in terrible wounds. It's clear that they were left not by animal teeth, but by a skillful torturer's hand. Ah, okay. So we're not necessarily dealing with animals here. Is that a trap? Yep, it's a trap. Get de dealing with it. I hope you appreciate this. Mm-hmm. All right, so what is... Oh, there's a the cave. Hello. Is she all the way back here? What the fuck? Okay. Come on, guys. Let's see what we can do. I guess unlike my characters, I have tremendously bad perception. <laughs> Alright, so she was like right here. I'm surprised we never seen her on the way over there, but whatever. Hello? The absence of an answer is that. Oh, is this. This is one of these people again, isn't it? We have. We have met one of these before back at the. The ruins where the statues were. You know, for Nenio, I think her name is. So what does that tell us? Does that tell us there's a, there's a, one of the things we need for the statue in here? I'm gonna assume so. Here we go. Which is interesting. Okay. Get your ass in the cape, thank you. Save the last one for me. Hey, what? What is this? Oh, we. Every an ally who is also this feet are flanking some creatures. You're right, okay. So we caught him on our wheels. I guess he caught us on our wheels because we're also effectively flat footing this as well right now. Fear, blessing.
Let's just bone shaker this asshole. Or not. Maybe I should take that armor off him. Alright, so he's an incubus, so fire's probably not the way to go. Yeah, let's go acid armor. Critical hit, nice, nice, nice. Alright, Camellia. What's a good option here? Bless. Damn you! And just stab his ass. Or not. It's free country. Be gone, fiend! So he's just tugging him. So let's give him a blessing. When I was probably gonna. Yep. <laughs> Saw that coming. Wait, why is why is the fight still going? Guys. Oh right, that's why. <laughs> So, yes, all right, keep going. All right, let's just have a few options we have here. All right, no mind. Here comes trouble. Make it double. Just, just take out the well of the wisp. Hurry up. Seriously. When dog take a potion. Actually, no, not better yet. I welcome your company. There we go. Let's give the moderate ones one to Nenio. So did they drop anything? Or I'm guessing they didn't. Can't make the demons wait. Nope. So many traps down here. I am helpful, am I not? Oh, hello there. Fall. Tear your throat out. Using tangle on them. Where did I put that again? Put it somewhere. Where the fuck is it? She's got too many spells now. Ah, screw it. Someone bores. Not uh, leopards. Wrath. You touch a well on creature as a standard action, giving it a bit of luck for the next round any time the target rolls a d20 and may roll twice. What is even the chances of that happening though? And I grab a secret boon. Alright. Sure, why not? So his luck was that the target would change apparently. They'll beg me to stop. Are you still here? 
All right, we're gonna have to do an all heal. Wonderful. Why did you not cast that? All right, that makes sense. I'll cut you wide open. I was like, that was weird. The spirits he was demand in silent. As one vicious leopard. Eternal Rose, I call upon you. No match for me. Can I charge your ass? I cannot charge your ass. Good guys always win. I just realized this guy seems to be quite important, so we're gonna go full out on him. I got this. As soon as I can. Oh, she's down there. Alright, so what spell should I cast on this asshole? Something chunky, I think. That did not work, did it? Oh, he has too high a spell resistance. Oh well. Oh my god, you- oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh shit. He is the toughest thing we've fought so far. Wait, what? I didn't realize that was anywhere to affect. Shit. We can work with us. I know, shoot him very, very hard. Is this one of these bosses I'm not supposed to be fighting because he's like a super boss kind of thing? Because fuck me, is he tough? Oh, you come with some under. Hello, Anjan. How's it going, buddy? As we pop in, hope you're having a good day. I'm getting my ass kicked by an incubus, so it's going interesting. I don't think we're going to manage this. He is a lot tougher than I was expecting. And it missed. And so she was dead. <laughs> okay. So what's, what's the next best thing? You are today's sacrifice. Okay. Can't do it. 
anything else. Mr. Leopard, Miss, okay. Alright, Wind Dog, Captain. Alright, that was pretty good. That was pretty good as well. We might actually manage this. Thanks to my incredibly good archer. Can I hold this asshole in place? I can't hold him in place. Okay. Prayer. Just give all the buffs we can do. Change shape. No, 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 no. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna create a pet. He just, he dodged that, didn't he? You have to miss. Come on. This thing refuses to cooperate. Wonderful. Oh, I actually have him. Subject of the spell appears to be about two foot away from its true location. The creature benefits from a plus fifty percent chance, mischance. Ah, okay, let's try that. Just, just keep him busy. That's all we can do right now. Keep him busy for Wayne Dog to actually. All right, never mind. So much for that displacement. No match for me. We can beat him though. It's just freaking hard. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna give her haste. And I probably should have moved her out of the way she should have. What did you just do? Please happen. Please happen. Yes! Oh, thank Christ. Okay. Oh, that should not have been as hard as it was, but it was really freaking hard. still fight. Wait, what? Oh, thank god. I thought for a second there they were actually taking damage for the roots. Alright, let's organize this a little bit. Alright, we get Belt of Physical Flow. Grants to wear plus two bonuses to strength and dexterity. Hmm, strength and dexterity, okay. Oh, that's because they're entangled. Okay, that makes sense. Dexterity, that's... What is that? Plus two? Plus two bonus to dexterity. Plus two bonus to strength and dexterity. Hmm. Does strength do anything for... Archery? Or is that just dex? So that does 90 to 14. What if I do this? That does increase the damage. That goes up to 10 to 15. 
Yeah. There you go. And then we'll get the belt for this day. Because that's more hard jam. That's cloak of resistance. Cloak grants us wear plus two resistance. Bonus on all saving throws. That's pretty standard. Plus two bonus on saving throws against compulsion disease. Alright, this is that's actually a step up and a half. Because that one is specifically for against compulsion and disease effects. This is for every saving throw. It's a plus two resistance. Plus two additional grants. Yeah, she's getting that. I wonder if I'd be better taking that myself. No, no, I've, I've actually already got one of those. Resistance, raise it. Yeah, it's the exact same one. Plus two, come on again, you to twin day. Yeah, that's not that great. There you go, buddy, you can have that. This one is, his bracelet allowed the wearer to cast healing spells with a provoking attack of opportunity. Let's grant plus two bonus and concealment checks. Alright. There you go. That's perfect for you. And I think we I think we got like armor as well. Yeah we did. We did. It's medium armor, nine. Whenever they wear this three metal chainmail flanks any enemy, the wearer gets plus two bonus damage against flanked creature. If you have their flank feature, the damage bonus increases to plus four. How does this compare to mine? This one, I'm gonna check penalty. Huh. I might actually just wear that. So now if I'm facing the back of the enemy, I can just stab the crap out of them. I'm giving all the best shit to my, my own guy. <laughs> Oh well, it happens. Oh fuck! I never even considered this. So, ooh, okay. This is interesting. So I, I poo pooed this this flail originally because I assumed, like its stats were bad, but then I didn't take it into account. Oh my god, did that actually take into account the modifiers? Alright. I might actually, might actually put that on. See how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully it does well. If it doesn't, it's getting immediately replaced. But... I'm hopeful. Does this like bump up my. Alright, it doesn't bump up by that much. Alright, guys, we're gonna have another look around. Hopefully, this spell wears off soon. The person and mothers were masters of torture, judging by the wounds. They tortured him for weeks before he died. And there is a slowly starting to recede. Glad that everyone's got a really good resistance to it. I think that may be it, unless I'm missing something. I can't freaking tell because these stupid roots. Can you disengage these? Is that a thing you can do? No, they're just permanently on for... How long are they activated for? One minute. Oh, per level. 
wow, those are long lasting roots. What level is she? I think she's pretty high, so it's like seven minutes or something. Bond. One object can be used once per day to restore any spell. Ooh, I didn't know that was a thing. Alright. Just double checking all the bits just in case. So he must have been like the super boss of this. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I keep thinking I've got all the loot and then I. Uh, I check again and I've missed something. Oh yeah, I can check the map. Shit, yes. Let's see if I'm missing something. Apparently I'm not. Come on, guys. I know you're in a bad way, but come on. I need to check the map once you move so I can see if there's anything left. Alright, there is not anything left. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's basically it. Unless I'm, there's something there I'm not seeing. Is there something there I'm not seeing? I suppose not. Alright, back to the exit. We'll probably do a rest in a minute because my my guys are absolutely wiped out. That boss was freaking tough. And at least we know, like, going forward, the, the tango ability. That just is well. just insane how long that lasts for. I like to double check where the hell are all the tango abilities. I could have sworn I gave her two tango abilities. Oh, whatever, I'm not bald. Alright, guys, I'm gonna need you to rest just real quick. I think that's everyone we had usually on this task. Yeah. I'll do. If you should ever wish to confess your sins, I will always be willing to listen. I don't suffer any woman to listen in on my private conversations with a man. Not even Shaylin. Yeah. And I should have been back to be able to weaken the impact of corruption. Oh well. Wait, what, is, what the hell is this? After packing up his belongings after the next camping, Socio finds a place to sit and pulls out a travel sketchbook and charcoal pencil. Still glancing in the direction, he draws on the small page with bold, sprawling strokes, the expression shifting between smiling and frowning. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. We're not doing that. Catch his eye and strike a dynamic pose. Click last loudly. Thank you, but please don't. Just keep doing whatever you are doing. I'm trying to capture your natural movements. Uh, da, 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 da. May I see? The clerk lowers his eyes in embarrassment. There's nothing to look at yet. There isn't even a draft. More series of random sketches. The slope of your neck, the cover of your lips, your gestures. It is not much to look at, but it'll be useful if I start working on a real portrait. Hmm. Are you going to paint my portrait? Yes, but not just yours. I draw everything I see, our companions, our soldiers, sometimes even our enemies. The places we visit, my dreams, my thoughts, every aspect of this crazy war. I want to capture everything that happens here, both the beautiful and nightmarish. But sometimes I draw you too. Your puzzle yet to be solved, a miracle that came from nowhere and turned the tide of this hopeless war. Who is the commander of the Fifth Crusade? Who is he truly? It's difficult to see the truth in a single 
glance, but perhaps I will better understand you after I capture your image in paper. Well, I won't bother you anymore. Joshua smiles, nods, and gets back to his work. There we go. Okay, that was that was nice. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So good, we get we get some good artifacts out of that. Mostly from one character, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Going forward, I should absolutely kick ass. And we rooted out a bunch of incubi as well. So, aces. Alright, so what's up next? We should be able to get to this marked rock, I think. Oh wait, no, we won't be able to... Oh wait, no, 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 we can sneak, sneak past the demon army, yes. Because, like, we don't have to fight them. Well, we have to fight these guys, but not the demons. When in doubt, say that is some sound advice. Oh crap, what is this? And we are flat footed. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, first off, bless. Now we've got Nenio. Just magic missile this thing. It's not better yet. No, no, yeah. Magic missile this thing. There's something else. There's a succubus around here somewhere. Oh, behind us. Of course it's behind us. the best option here. I right, see so yeah, just slam this guy right in the face. Damn you. Nice. They'll beg me to stop. This thing these things are really strong Begone, holy shit. Fiend. Character has become confused. A confused creature can't think straight or right. It can't tell frame from an Oh god. This could be bad. Right, let's do a haste. Let's get everyone buffed up. Apparently there's a mod you can get where you can just immediately just activate all your mods automatically. This is pretty... Alright, just stab her in the face. Oh, that demon just get wrecked. Did she just do nothing? And all, all enemies within a 20 foot buff center than caster. Uh, why not? And they will save, of course they did. Ah! Oh, he actually hit. Oh well. You did not fail again. I, I need to take that armor off him, that's really bad. Really? The spirits demand your blood. Are you still here? Nice. Alright, now just shoot the shit out of this thing. There you go. And it's done. Is that actually it? Is there nothing? Or, uh, I guess it was just a random encounter, wasn't it? A 
was like, that's bizarre that there's like nothing there. It's because it was just random. Mark rock. Oh, right, okay. So it's just that, okay. Again, I, this is because we're passing that army, isn't it? I refuse to accept their statement. Oh, bugger. Shit. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that the strength of the army dictates the strength of the random encounter because these, are, this is ridiculous. <laughs> nice try, guys. You are today's sacrifice. Go for their heart. Why is it on? Why is it unavailable? Oh, because I need to target one. Okay. And there was a will save. Of freaking course there was. This is actually really bad. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding, like, this is actually really, really bad. Good guys always win. Just get uh, oh, just all the buffs. They really don't like her. Excruciating. And if she stands up, she's just gonna immediately get whacked. Yep. What's the next best thing I can do here? Just give a just give a massive buff. They'll beg me to stop. Hey Roy! Hey buddy, how's it going? Thanks for popping in. Hope you're having a super good day. <laughs> I am getting my ass kicked. Ah, we can get through this. I got this. Fingers crossed. Driving home. Awesome, buddy. Hope we can get home soon. Oh fuck, he just got attacking opportunity. Nice. Alright, does anyone need healed? Yeah, of course, people need healed. Oh, I'm kind of glad they're targeting my guy, because my guy can take it. I will bring down the divine wrath. No match for me. There we go. Alright, take down the other ones. There we go. And one more. Jeez, her magic does nothing. Damn you! Ooh. Hopefully we get a good amount of experience for that, because my god. I think we should rest. <laughs> the party is not in a good state after that. Even Aesmir are no match for neither's when it comes to strength. You produce beautiful, healthy offspring 
That is your one advantage over us. I'm driving a bit too fast. I hope I won't get a ticket. Hopefully, Roy. As long as you don't see a police car come up behind you or, or uh, what do you call it? A speed camera. Speed camera, that's the one. <laughs> yes, open, buddy. How about this front advantage? I shall still be capable of doing the deed that produces offspring some 20 years after you have weathered from decrepitude. Oof. Oh, there was one. Now you're fine, as long as you didn't see a flash. It's the flash that's the... Well, obviously it's the problem. He had some hard ones. I encountered like a, a whole bunch of them when I was going down to Nottingham one time. There was like an entire road filled with them. I bet, I bet you... <laughs> how much you bet like one person dr drives down that super fast to get like five five or seven tickets? Oof. I was looking at my phone. Oh, Roy! <laughs> oh, buddy. It's brutal. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, da 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 da. Alright, let's bring these guys over. And just send them up. Let's keep going, keep going. Alright, we'll join in with the rest of the army in a minute. We could probably see. I'm always on my phone. It's bad. <laughs> as a as an addiction, buddy. Uh, as long as it keeps you happy, I suppose, and it doesn't like put you in danger at all. All right, what the heck? Oh God, no! No, don't continue. Become, you can become an expert on the phone. Roy, the he's got the he's got the black belt in phone usage. <laughs> All right, I think I I think I could probably I I don't think I need to be here anymore. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've basically got the entire map covered right now. There's just like a few armies left to deal with. I wonder what would happen if I took down every single army. Herbal ring? What? I'm actually tempted to do that, actually. Piece of unholy symbol of Rovacog. Wait, we've heard of that name before. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move my army out of this situation. Shit. <laughs> we need to get better at sneaking. How's your day going? It's gone not too bad. It's been quite quiet and it's it's been going in fast. I was freaking super hyped to play this game again. Oh, this is like the worst combination of things to fight right now. Did that like just... Oh, I could. Oh, unlucky. Alright, so let's just stay in the corner of this and keep them slowed down. Nope. Come on, kill her. Kill her! Thank you. I don't need to deal with this thing. But yeah, I can't complain about my day. My day's been pretty good. Pretty good. I played some Power World because I woke up too early and then went to work. <laughs> Any chance you get to play Power World, buddy, you're, you're just right in there, aren't you? <laughs> I need to get back to it. Ace has been asking me if I've I've been on it and I've, I've not been on it in like three days. Ah, I need to get back on it. Wow, 
Why am you half elf, you son of a bitch? Eternal Rose, I call upon you. I could have went better. I need your Did you get knocked down again? Oh my I god. Oh buddy, you suck. Okay, I think I know which team members I'm going to be replacing later. The spirits demand your blood. That was 60 hours on it. I think I've got like, what, 12 or 15 max? I guess you're making a lot of good progress then. I've I seen that Gordy beat like Three of the bosses, I think it was. Yeah, I think he's beaten three of the bosses so far. I've only beaten one. Good guys always win. I won't play and sleep a tiny bit. <laughs> as long as you're not tying yourself out, buddy. Magic missile. Nice. A little 44. Oh god. That's pretty good. It's like you only need like six more levels in your max max rank or level, I guess. I heard that they're adding in PvP, so people are saying are saying stuff in the forums like Oh we'll find out what the meta of the game is as soon as we get PvP to fight each other. I'm not too bothered about PvP to be honest. As long as, as long as I can collect all the powers and just beat all the bosses, I'm happy. Ah oh, crap, what can I actually do here? That'll work. If I don't get good experience off this, I'm gonna be pissed. So there's only one thing left. Damn you. Oh, come on. I want all the all the powers ten times. I mean, yeah, that makes sense, Roy, because you get like a huge experience buff by doing that, and and also you can uh, was it was it you can like melt them down. Uh, no worries, Roy. You can like melt them down and. You can turn them into like much more powerful pals. I think that's going to be like the end game going forward. Everyone's just going to try and get like five star pals, which is going to take so many of the same ones. But yeah, I, I see that being the the long the long game. Oh for fuck's sake! How many times is that going to fail? Shock and grip. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Is irrational. I dedicate my, my body limits. to science. Jesus. You are today's sacrifice. Go for their hearts. It's too much. It is a lot, yeah. But that's kind of intentionally intentional. Just so that you spend so much time, people don't just like finish up the game before like new updates come out. Oh, why is everyone just wrecked right now? I need to get the hell away from these demons, that's it, this is bad. There we go, thank Christ, alright. 
first start is 4 then 16 and I think it doubles, doesn't it? Oh wait, no, that wouldn't make sense because 4 then 16 then... <sighs> don't know after, yeah. I don't know after either, I've not got anything to, to 2 stars yet. Because I've not had a need. Let's get some rest on. It's just stupid. It's it's just to keep you playing, Roy. That's basically the only reason it's there. That and future content might be really freaking hard. So that's a that's probably another reason. No, you can have that, buddy. Sell all the crap. Go on down to the shield. You don't really get shields that often in this. 3,600. Nice. Give me. Alright, we'll get a good amount of money. If it was for each star, would already be a lot. Mm. Considering the amount of. There's like over 100 pals, I think. So, yeah, true. talk to Erebeth anymore. No, we can't. Can't make sense, I suppose. Keep them peeled, Paladin. Round and round we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. No trick, no magic, just nimble fingers. Watch closely now. <laughs> we don't want no hard feelings later. One, two, one more time, and hey, presto! Well, which cup is the pee under? <laughs> Seriously? Out of everybody in the party, you picked me? I learned the cups and balls trick before I could talk, you little punk. Now sit down. And let Sister Sila show you how it's done. And everyone's revived. Right, I think, do we have any? Yeah, we do. Good. Just put them in there, put that in there. Alright, this is back down to light again. I don't have much else I can chuck in, can I? I'm kind of about like these really valuable things. I don't know if they're going to come in handy, but I'll, I'll hold on to them anyway. Oh, hello, Nevia. A wounded elf, huh? Well, there are a lot of wounded in Canabras who wounded him. In what way? Maybe it will be less in future updates, so I'm not farming for those stars. Maybe if a lot of people voice like how much they dislike it, the devs will probably fix it, but I don't see it happening. I th if they do do that, I expect it will be because they've added like a hundred more powers or something and then lowering the star amount will make a lot more sense. That's the occasion I could see that happening. Uh, well, there were a lot of women in Canberra's in what way Anivia appears relaxed, even nonchalant, but her eyes gleam attentively and her hands as if by coincidence are resting on her belt next to her weapon. How should I know? It must have been demons. The wound was serious, I doubt he has fully recovered from it. If you could point me towards a healer, I could. The woman wrapped in rags all all the way up to her ears, eyes. Turns around at the sound of your footsteps. Damn it. Oof. In a lightning fast motion, Anivia knocks something from the woman's hands. An amulet that seemingly appears out of nowhere. It falls to the ground and disappears in a flash of magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay well. Commander and me, we've got a couple of questions for you. <laughs> you want to skip this time? Who are you and why are you hiding your face? You hear a heavy sigh coming from under the shawl. Fine, you've got me. We'll talk, but not here. Lead me somewhere away from prying eyes. She's all yours, Commander. I caught her, I handed her over, and now as they say, I wish I wash my hands of this whole affair. Alright, who the hell is this? It's so random. What do you want from me, soldier? In exasperated gesture, she rips the half-mask off her face. 
When you see her black skin and crimson eyes, is Kalesa the elf you met in Canavis? Who? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, no, 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 I remember. I remember her. I know who you are. Your Kalesa cultist of Discari. That's a lie. Her crimson eyes flash and she says firmly, I love demons and I'll kill any I come across. Take a closer look at the elves. She clearly holding something back, but she doesn't appear to be lying either. <laughs> Crimson, eh? Crimson. Oh, uh, it'd be interesting if Crimson was in this game. Wherever she's hiding, her claim that she hates demons sounds quite convincing. Uh, you're not lying, but you're not telling me the whole truth. What was I supposed to pour my heart out? She looks at you defiantly. You have your war soldier out of mine. You're fighting chaos and madness and I, I'm fighting lies and hypocr hypocrisy. But we are both willing to die for our causes, aren't we? I believe you. Fawn is in the camp. Watch out for him. With a crooked smile, Kalesa says grimly, he's the one who should watch out for me. Tamal did. <laughs> I'm here, I suppose. Am I? Oh, my nurse got to the camp. Okay. Okay, let's go tell what's her face, what was happening now. If she's interested. And she's not there. That's typical. And save. Did I almost fern again? Huh, what's going on? I don't know, I've been spotted. <laughs> Apparently so Crimson, how's it going buddy? Thanks for popping, I hope you're having a super super good day. <laughs> Bought a sofa bed online, I'm excited. Nice one buddy, you gonna st stash that in the truck? I know Crimson just randomly appearing. <laughs> He's got that superpower. Super fear me, fear the fireball. <laughs> All right, I need my other army. Come on, guys, I need you to merge. There we go, and things are back to the way they should be. That was from my office. Ah, fair enough. I should, I should really head right, straight for Dresden right now. But I could fight the rest of these armies if I really wanted to. I kind of really want that piece of unholy symbol. Oh, this is a toughie. Army has no move. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course it doesn't. So let's beat that and then we'll beat this four one and then if if I have enough confidence I'll try this one. <sighs> I don't have a lot of confidence. <laughs> because it's echoing because it's so empty. Yeah, that'll do that. I remember when I was re redecorating my room, the echo was ridiculous. Because there was nothing in it. And the room seems so big, like you wouldn't believe how big some rooms feel once you've got like all the furniture out of them. Now it's just tiny feeling. Well, not now. It's 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 got all the furniture in it, but it feels like it's got it's a lot more cramped. And bye bye. Do you know what? I'm just gonna stall. Him. Oh, 
Oh, you just get your ass kicked. Alright, that's going to be five dead. Thank you very much. These guys do like no damage, but they're super, super durable. I've been it and it didn't echo, so that sofa bed should help. I mean, yeah, just just any sturdy punisher that takes up a lot of area, it should solve that problem easily. Uh, this is taking longer than I was expecting. And I got my losses back. Awesome. Why is this going so well? I'm fighting en uh, enemy armies that are way stronger than mine. Keeper's Canyon used to be an important relay point uh, for the river traffic between Dresden and Canberras. Now this small but once thriving port town lies in ruins. But Sturdy Harbour may still come in handy when the supply ships from Mendev arrive. Right, and we'll do a quick save. And then we fight again. Get his herbal ring, whatever the hell it is. Oh, they've got horseback. Oof. Okay. This could be sketchy. Oh god, okay, yeah, this is gonna be sketchy. Alright, that's one down. Shit. feeling that this guy is the most dangerous one. Alright, 16 to 21 damage. That he, they are... Yeah, yeah, he is by far the most troubling one. Essentially, by the fact that I didn't even take him out. Yes! We are absolutely kicking ass. All the rapacious mercenaries on their high met uh, metalled horses turned out to be foreigners from an unknown distant land. Among the trophies in the bag of their shrieking leader, the soldiers found an unusual ring. The ring grants us wear a plus four morale bonus on saving throws against disease, nausea, and sickening effects. Alright, who should get this? <laughs> Obviously, I'm not getting it. I've got more than enough shit. Uh, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. The healer. Why not? I really shouldn't fight this, this army, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
because I'm just that dumb apparently. I've not got many. Uh, I've actually not got many, many demon armies left to fight. There's one down here. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And then that's. Oh, uh, there's probably going to be one here as well. So that's just about everything done. I don't need the finance points. What the fuck is the finance points for? I'm guessing that's these things. Alright, take on this demon army. I want whatever the hell they have. This piece of unholy symbol of Rovagug. Watch me get my ass completely kicked here. Yeah. Oh, that is a lot of Minotaurs. <sighs> and there's one down. And they are very durable. <laughs> Shit. Alright, just hold ground. Just hold ground. We can do this. Oh god, they are fast. And they just one shot even my Oh you son of a bitch. You Oh you abs oh oh no oh no that I was not expecting. Awesome. Glad to hear you back home, Roy. This is bad. This is actually really, really bad. They're gonna freaking wipe out my. Oh, fuck. Just shoot it. Oh, got him back. Yes! Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you got back home, Roy. I hope you can chill for the rest of the night. Get that sofa bed installed. The Lord of the Mentors had the unholy symbol of Rovagog the Destroyer around his neck. Crusaders decided to hand a piece of this dark relic over to the commander. Nice. And we got this orc double axe. We don't even have an orc. How the hell am I supposed to use this thing? Oh, maybe maybe if my character was an orc, I suppose. Alright, what can I do here? Infantry size increases by 5% per level of this feat. Ooh. In general, gains 10% more experience points and an additional feat at level 20. Ooh. Level 20? We're not getting to level 20, surely. Infantry size increased by 5% per level. That's yeah, we're taking extensive inventory. Infantry. Infirmary first, Jesus. Size determines. God, what was that? I'm going to send in my paperwork so I can get paid. No worries, Roy. No worries, buddy. Uh, didn't I just get a thing that increased my infantry size? Infirmary size increased by 5% per level of this feat. Oh, infirmary. I completely misread that. Shit. That's fine. It's fine. Hopefully. No, no, that's actually probably perfect because it'll mean that yeah, any of my units can like get healed. It, like, there's a higher chance of recovering them if if they die. So, do you know what? That's actually pretty good. All right. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get saved because that was that was actually so lucky that we managed to get through that unscathed, unbelievably. So that was level seven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 
go down here and we're gonna do this level 7 one here and try desperately not to freaking die. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the last remaining hardest fight. The thing that makes this so hard is there's so goddamn freaking many scat. Look at this shit. That didn't even take down the sharpshooters. That's freaking terrible. This is actually tremendously bad. Because <laughs> the sharpshooters need to go first because they threaten the archers. And the archers are basically a lifeline to get this. Fuck! Never mind. Jesus! Holy fuck. They just want sh What the fuck? What? What is this? Oh shit, I am fucked. I am actually fucked here. Oh my god, I am so fucked. Yep, I'm fucked. Yep. Yep. There we go. They are f way too freaking strong. Except my ass. I'm not accepting that. Why are they so powerful? Like, they are, s they are like multitudes harder than that one we just fought a second ago with the Minotaurs. That was that was just unbelievable. Alright, what what have you got? You have finance points. I don't give a fuck about finance points, thank you very much. So what we're doing, gonna do is we're gonna go here and then we're gonna advance here. We're gonna actually move on Dresden. Or Dresden, or whatever the hell it's called. Any archers? Yeah. The archers need to go first. You see how lethal they can be. Shit. I don't think we can actually do anything against this cargo. This cargo is brutal. Fuck's sake, we're doing this again. Fuck you. The fire replaces an army's losses after battle by the number of value points equal to its size. Okay. I don't know if we need a fireball at this point, do we? No, I think we can take care of us, this ourselves. Without using mana. Yeah, we can do this. There we go. And we got our losses back. Wonderful. Yeah, so what, yeah, we're, s that's, that's going to be the plan. We're going to move on Dresden. And, yeah, we're just going to leave that alone for now. Yeah, we are not touching that. As much as it bums me to not go for it, because there's a freaking phylactery that they've got, which is shit that liches have. Granted, it's a broken one. 
I assume like these trinkets get you something good. But we can't get it just yet. <laughs> if I had to guess what's going to happen, we're going to beat Dresden. And then we're going to like progress up here. Oh my god, there's actually... Holy fuck, the, the, the map is, is big. Jesus. The map, the map is really big. So basically, yeah, the game wasn't lying when it said we were going to be pushing the demons back. Wait, what is this? Is this a cutscene? Because we're not in battle yet. Oh no, we are. <laughs> Never mind. Get that gargoyle. Thank you. That shop show, thank you very much. I'm so glad these archers are as strong as they are. Can he not move? He, he can't move. Do that, and we're going to fireball the the big group here. Nice. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. Don't even have any losses. That's how good we're getting. Was this? So I just came across a group of riders on petite horses. They were desperately fending off a demon attack after what had clearly been a long pursuit. The crusaders saw the fiends and questioned the travellers. The riders turned out to be escaped prisoners from the demon ruins, uh, demon mines outside Dresden. Dresden. They had killed the cultist guards and stolen the horses. I contend the guards knew nothing of the commander's forces. So hopefully his offensive will catch Dresden unawares. Having driven out the monsters, the Crusaders discovered that which had drawn their attention graves. During the retreat from the Lost Chapel, its last defenders stopped here to bury their comrades whose wounds were too, too severe. The clerics can sense God's blessings on the ground where the faithful warriors were laid to rest. Ah, so that's good. So that means we're not going to have to deal with any zombies there. Wait, what? Why can't I not? Why can't why can't I not move to? What the fuck? Is this not the way? Oh, it's not. Fuck! No, it's not. It's Dresden is up in a hell. Ah, that makes more sense. And it's very annoying that fact as well. <laughs> Wait, what? Why do we have orcs? Why the fuck did we get orcs? Mounted scouts? Can I like merge these guys? Probably not, right? Yeah, we can't. Thought so. So I'm guessing what's gonna happen is here we're gonna have to beat this army and then that this army is gonna let me like move move in basically done with paperwork that was fast Roy Jesus yeah it was really quick oh crap they're on automatic oh god I need to make sure I don't misclick during this fight. Oh crap. Oh, stop hitting my gat. Oh, god damn it. 
All three days to do for this week because it's the end of the month. <laughs> that makes sense. Demons first. Always demons first. is troubling. Am I going to get all my guys back? Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. <sighs> the enemy was starting to strike at the rear of the Crusaders' army was defeated. The Crusaders can approach Dresden with no need to watch out for attacks from the rear. All oh, right. So we we could. The game was only letting me do that. So, so that basically this was the way, but I had to have cleared out all the demons first. Or not, is this not the way? Game, make up your mind. Traveling merchant? Okay. Do you wish to meet, meet with him? Yeah, why not? Oh wait, I think I know what's happening. I think it's because my main party isn't going out in front. And because of that, we can't move the move the army any further forward. Oh, it's a skeleton salesman. This is interesting. A skeleton is walking across the waist. He moves with pep in his step, humming a tune. His skull bobs in chorus with the humming. Making the coins inside his head clink rhythmically. Next time, nightmarish horses of flame and shadow. Oh yeah, they're there. Uh, draw a cart loaded with valuable looking items. Upon seeing you, the skeleton offers a dramatic and hearty wave. Good evening to you, sir. Are there? Or is this what days look like in your whirlwind? Can't really tell, but no matter. Be it day or night, the skeletal salesman always has the best deals you can find anywhere. He proudly sweeps his bony hand over the goods in his cart. Would you like a gift? I offer it to you from my undead heart. Only for a comrade in the afterlife. I can attack him. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, what is this misfortune you think I'm your comrade in? And what gift are you talking about? Mm, nah, let's just show me the wheels. Oh, I have nothing to sell. Apparently I have nothing to sell. Hmm. That's unusual. Ooh, what have you got? Brace of armor 4? I don't have the money. <laughs> but that's actually pretty good. Haramaki? What is this? Is this a helmet? I'm guessing this is a helmet. No, 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 it's not a helmet. What the fuck? It's a very, very shit piece of body armor. <laughs> This armor provides plus two enhancement bonus to armor class. This armor check penalty of. Okay. Goku resistance three. Ooh. Nine thousand. Nah. Nah, I'm good. As tempting as that is, no. This headband grants is where plus two enhancement bonus to charisma. Last intelligence, wisdom, job. Funnily enough, I just don't think I need any of these. Flame of Light Crossbow? Nope. Do, 
Brauchst du das eigentlich schon? Ah, uh, maybe. But it doesn't have any like magic qualities to it. It's just it's just a very good crossbow. Unless I'm missing something. Flame weapon is sheathed with fire that deals an extra 1d6 point damage. Attacks with this weapon get plus two. Ah, uh, still not amazing though, is it? It's 18,000. I couldn't even get it if I wanted to anyway. That's a bolster. Meta magic rod. Short grass is wielded the ability to make up to three spells the cast per day bolster or ball bolstered. So using the bolster spell feet. Okay. I mean I'm not bothered, but it's interesting I guess. This shit's a bit too expensive for my liking. Hopefully I can come back to him later. Because I don't have any interest in what he has right now. That's a nice convenience though. It would be tempting to buy one of those items, but I don't think I'd find a use. Our stuff is too good at the moment. There's someone in the road. What, what do you mean there's someone in the road? Who? Oh, this is worrying. You wake up in the middle of the night to screams and sounds of battle. A moment later, Anivia bolts into the tent. Commander, are you alright? Praise Desna, were you in trouble? The camp is under attack. I told the guards to watch the sky, but uplanders are too careless. In the caves, they'd get their heads bitten off by the first spider they meet. What's going on? Report your status. It's a complete mess. The camp is on fire. Winged beasts are attacking from the sky. Trying to snatch our people away. Meet them out of defense and quickly. See, two arms. Okay, this I was not expecting at all. Why is this just suddenly loot? Ah, oh, it's just crap. Alright, never mind. Why would I just get wind dog? I mean, not that like I'm complaining, but. Oh, crap. Here comes crap. And make it double. Oh, it's probably a balance thing. We only have Wayne Dog, isn't it? It's because we've got all these camp members to help us out. As they get their ass kicked. They'll beg me to stop. There goes one gargoyle. Oh wait, didn't we didn't we deal with gargoyles earlier on in the game? I remember that when we first encountered the Hell Knights. So yeah, this is the demons doing, obviously. And there goes the crew. I feel bad for these gargoyles. They actually think they're going to hit me. Or do anyone near enough damage. Why am I not hitting this? <laughs> nice. No match for me. Hitting has proven to be a problem. I think every battle look I can get my hands on. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Buddy, if you think this is broke, well, there's something wrong with you. Hey, Camellia. Camellia's hiding behind the cart, the keeping to the shadows. She watches the chaos around her with screams of apprehension. The butchered cops are crusader lines at her feet. Commander, is that you? Finally, get your forces under control, or they'll be massacred like sheep at a slaughterhouse. Camellia, are, are you alright? I am, but your, our army is even sadder spectacle than usual. Let's move, Camellia. We need to retake the camp. Let's go. If these monsters thought we'd be easy pickings, they're in for disappointment. Here we go. Oh no, did they just... did they just... Oh no, they're just using whole person, okay. That could be worse. Anything that can dispel that, probably. However, oh, just stab open. him. I'll rip you apart. That was easy. Let's see what we can do. Hey, Silla. Sia stomps her armor boot in her gargoyle's wing, and with all her might pierces the monster with her sword. Turn around she yells to the soldiers, Shit your pants over there? Come on, don't check in out on us now. This is how we deal with them. Diplomacy, talk to the soldiers, hold your positions, steal yourselves, are you crusaders or cowards? Yes! The commander, the commander's here. We can fight, let's stand up to these beasts. The commander for the queen for Mendev. Let's go, Sia will teach these monsters a lesson. Yes, Commander. They'll be sorry they ever came here. Oh, we've got mauling enough to take care of this. Do not Do not Charge. Oh my god, look at the distance I can travel now. Your ass over here. Uh, or not. Again? She's so slow compared to me now. No glory without risk. Are you still here? So wait, can my mates like just straight up main control things no, if they miss the me. world check? Oh, that's overpowered. I love it. Bye bye recruit. Oh, what? Is a helmet? Fuck yes. Credit name, well, right, so it's unidentified, alright, so you, we're just gonna put it on for now. You have a you received a helmet that is, no one in the party was able to identify. Yeah, yeah, game, I know this.
What? There's, a, there's one of those strangers again? Oh god. Breathing heavily, Erebeth leans on a sword. Blood is trickling down her battered armour. Clenching her teeth, she looks hatefully at the monster before her. It bears its teeth in monk, mocking grin. I won't give up. In the name of Emodai, I won't give up. Erebeth, we're here. Hold on, we're coming. Oh no, you don't. You want. Oh god! Surgeon Fall of the Demon knocks Erebeth off her feet with a sharp blow to her face. Then he leans over her limb, limp body and sniffs. Mmm. Young, healthy, strong. This one would be tasty. What a thing girl it will make. The monster's fiery eyes consider the people surrounding it and finally fall upon it. Upon you. For a moment you feel a strange connection to the demon. As if there's no one here but the two of you. Bafflement almost fear crosses the monster's face. Then his grin grows even wider. Oh there. That's the one she was talking about. <laughs> so you're supposed to be my equal. You're just the same as your toys. Weak, fragile, tasty. <laughs> toys? What toys? Oh, but who's she? Who told you about me? Ah, you don't know? You know nothing. This is why you're so brave, because you're so stupid. Stupid. Got your powers by accident, can't understand anything. And now you're trying to act all brave for me. Perhaps you'll be unlucky enough to meet her. But I'll destroy you before that happens, but maybe I'll give her your skull. What do you mean that I'm your equal? Why do you think we're equals? Not equal, not equal. I earned my power. The great ones gave it to me. Yours is just an accident. I will suck it out of you. Along with your life. Mmm, it will be so tasty. But later, later. First I will take your toys. Like, let her go or rip your wings off. Are you threatening me, you mortal? I am a stuff of your nightmares. Roll on the ground and shudder. Come on, I said shudder. Shudder. <laughs> You came here for your death. I don't think so. A fortress, a fortress in the mountain, where mortals once prayed to the little gods. The lost chapel is my nest now. Come see what happens to your soldiers when I play with them. Maybe you'll become one of my toys too. Oh shit! Oh god. Commander, okay. Convene an urgent council. He just, he just stole Arabeth. And Evia shoots an arrow at the monster as it flies away, and they both vanish into the black of night. She looks at you, terror and resolution warring in her eyes. Before you can answer, she runs off to the camp headquarters. As we get all these free potions where I can. And there's some around here. I think that's everything. Alright, what now? A pale Anivia paces up and down in front of the map. Her face is pinched, her fists clenched, and her voice is unusually sharp. What's this fortress that Scum was talking about? Where is it? Nero taps her finger on the map. Here, the Lost Chapel. A scouts reported there was trouble brewing there, but this... What monster took Erebeth? I'm not sure, but judging by your description, it sounds like a Nabusu. They're demons sort of like bats. They can suck the life out of people and turn them into ghouls. Our scouts reported that ghouls were wandering around the chapel. Now we know where they came from. One more thing. The name he gave, Kibriri. That's the demon lord. The patron of ghouls. They say he was the first mortal to eat the flesh of his own king. 
After his atrocity, he died in agony. He was reborn in the abyss, becoming the first ghoul. We can all but only means that Kaviri was the patron of the demon who came to us, but it might mean that another demon lord has joined the demon alliance and sent his troops here. Who did the monsters carry off? Erbeth and two dozen soldiers, both recruits and veterans. They got all our friends. Who you see here are all that's left of the commander squad. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? One of your companions, a tiefling, Wojith, I think. I last saw him running from the camp, but there were no monsters chasing him. I don't want to badmouth anyone, but I think he disappeared of his own free will. I'm very sorry. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hargus, where were you? I didn't see you. The <laughs> There's no point in asking that. She's not a fighter. No, where were you during the fight? I didn't see you anywhere. Yeah, why not? I was panicking. She looks embarrassed. I was running through the darkness like a headless chicken. It's a miracle I didn't impale myself on a sword or get taken by the gargoyles. I'm sorry I'm not a good fighter. Don't tell me you suspect me of worshipping demons. I'm one of you. I swear of any kind, uh, on any kind deity or symbol. Or all of them in a stack. Some people, you do everything for them and still they pillory you. Set your trap. No one accused you of anything. You've been asking, asked a question so answer it. Maybe his voice is soft, but the expression on her face makes the blood drain from Hogsley's face. He sighs heavily. No one saw me, neither friend or foe. I drank an invisibility potion and hid under a cart. What was I supposed to do? I'm not a fighter or a wizard. If I'd stayed in plain sight, I'd be on the mission list right now. I see. We'll depart immediately for the chapel and save wherever we can. The demons won't feast for long. This, this piece is too tough for, for them. Uphill again. Through the mud, no road. But I do hope these demons will be entertaining enough to make up for this inconvenience. Is everyone ready? Commander, we don't have much time. But we stand around here, our friends are being eaten alive. I'm running ahead now to scout out the area. Don't sit around, don't come after me quickly. We'll meet at the foot of the mountain. Okay. I'm going to do a heart save, because obviously. Yeah, do you know what? We'll collect everything. There's the Lost Chapel. Just immediately sent right into it. What's the time right now? It's currently 10... 10 to 9. Fuck. I may have to wrap it, wrap this up in a minute. Oh, a neighbor steals through a spyglass at a low fortification in the hill. Even at this distance, you can hear blood curdling screams coming from within. There, that's where they took them. Looks like the monsters are having a feast. A neighbor shudders. We've got some survivors. They escaped somehow. They'll never make it away from these gargoyles. That reminds me, look who I met here. She was just standing there blinking as if she knew someone would come for her. What? Ah yes. It must be it must be admitted that Gargoyle born flight is ineffective and uncomfortable. By the way, did you know that gargoyles can be tickled by scratching their heels? Nanya plucks a thorny bar from her hair. I'll wait here. Send me the ones you can save from those monsters. I'll care for the wounded and get them back to safety. Master, why are you wasting energy saving weaklings who couldn't even defend themselves? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Why not? Since... <clears throat> Wait, I'm actually tempted for this. My army is my weapon. If they die here, how can I deploy them at Dresden? Yeah, it's true. Someone as powerful as you has need of lackeys. Even pathetic wants to battle. No, two battle. Alright. What do you see in the hill? Just what Nero said. Gargoyles, ghouls, fresh ones. Hasn't been long since they turned and they didn't die prey. Looks like demons stormed at the chapel. Stormed the chapel at some point. So we don't have to worry about getting inside. There's a huge hole in the wall where the gate used to be. At least that's one piece of good news. Is that winged demon in there? Well, I didn't see him flying away. 
and seriously hope that wretch isn't thinking of leaving, especially when he personally invited us to this occasion. It'd be the height of rudeness for a host. Do you have extra healing wands? The party needs healing too. I could share some wands I took to care for the wounded. Then we might not have enough to heal all our soldiers. Are you sure you want to sp spend this magic on the party? No, I'll keep them. It's probably better off. I want to change my party. Why would I want to change my party? I'm guessing we're going to be able to pick more people in there. Right, save, do not save. Kill. Cool. Alright, so let's see where the map is. Oof. This is one chunky map. Yeah, we're going to have to leave this for next thing. As much as that annoys me, because this is a very pivotal story moment. Uh, part of me kind of wishes I didn't spend so much time last time, just... Uh, not last time, uh, the start of screen equipping all my guys, but I kind of had to, you know? If I didn't do that, they would have been in such worse position later on. So, yeah. <laughs> if I knew I had to do that, I would have done it off stream. <laughs> but you guys are getting the full unfiltered experience, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's find out who we're gonna read over to. Do, 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 do. I usually use my phone for this, but unfortunately I uh, the phone's run out of battery, so do this old fashioned way. Alright, who is online? We've got character, we get Debbie, we've got Cell, we've got Cherry Bee. Uh, we've actually not got that many people on right now. Hmm. This is surprising. Probably, yeah, let's do Kyle. It's probably the best option here. Do, 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 do. Just do a shout out so you guys can pop over if you get left behind, as is tradition. when the shower doesn't work. Give me a send. There we go. Alright, let's push up the raid. Just hold on to your butts. I would continue the stream and go into like like seven hour stream potentially but unfortunately i'll get work in the morning so that's a bummer <laughs> and here's the raid command if you aren't, aren't subscribed and here's the raid command if you are subscribed make sure to copy that down before we head off and i'll see you guys again on friday all right bye guys